Hello everyone. My God, we're back. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to everybody. I hope you're having a Merry Christmas out there. And if you're enjoying another festivity of the season, that's great too. Also, make sure you take some time over the you know the holidays. You know what I mean? Get yeah. to take some time. Unless you're a hustler and you love hustling. If you, you like, like that, you like rise and grind, baby. I you're love rise, rise and grind. grind. I, I'm 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 on Mark Wahlberg's schedule. Mm. You know what I mean? So uh, wake up while doing push-ups. Wake up while doing push-ups. Uh, like find some articles online that allude to the racism that I definitely took part in in the mm-hmm. early nineties. I'll wipe some of that. Get some of my PR team on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah then yeah. I have a protein shake. That's right. Then it's prayer time. Then it's golf time. Then it's family time. Then it's another protein shake. Great. Then it's more scouring the internet. We did to get started. Okay, <laughs> sure, sure, sure. There's no. This is that's the end of the Mark Wahlberg Mark Wahlberg talk. It certainly is. Mm. Uh, so what are we looking at today? As far as we know, uh, <laughs> we're, we're gonna. It's we, we, James. We are going to watch and commentate over. Yep. A Christmas classic. Oh, people are like, is it a Christmas? Who gives a shit? We're doing it regardless. <laughs> okay, I'm about it's to. Di- hit- it's the movie Die Hard. It is. I'm about to hit play. Uh, the 20th century logo is going to appear, and then mm. when it disappears, we'll say hello, or whatever, and then we'll all know we're all synced up. Yeah, I'm going to yeah, say yeah. three, two, one, start. Yeah. Three, two, one, and start. Oh, we're starting off. Bit over two hours. This one isn't it, Mason? Yes. Uh, are you happy with that? <laughs> I'm very happy with it. Yes. Wow. Now, now you said who cares earlier, but I reckon. Oh, you want to get I, into it? Do you? I reckon we should get into it. Is it a Christmas movie? This is a uh, terrible 20th century Fox logo. It's not even doing anything. Oh. Back in the day, the 20th. I mean, not now. I mean, not back in. The, now it like just it's gone. It just disappeared. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh God, sorry. I was I was a second too late, but I hope we're all synced up. Yeah. But um. Yeah, now you you swoosh around it. You know what mm. I mean. You see what's going on. Big swoosh. Oh, there's the big there's the big uh, the big jumbo the jet. The big jumbo jet. Uh, jum- the big Hollywood <laughs> jumbo jet. That's right. Well, I was gonna say, uh, Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Yes. I think you need. I think it, it. Two things are required for a movie to be a Christmas movie. What are those? Christmas elements. Yep. And for people to agree that it is a Christmas movie. Or okay. not agree, enough people need to say, I think this is a Christmas movie. I watch it at Christmas. I celebrate it at Christmas. Yes. So it doesn't have to be about Christmas specifically. I agree, because uh, the Lord of the Rings movies famously came out at Christmas time, and people often, they'll make it an annual tradition mm. to watch just the Lord of the Rings films and none of now the that, other movies. Now, that's a Christmas time tradition. Yes. But it's not a Christmas movie. Oh, I wow. Think. Yeah. Well, that's that's very controversial, if mm. you don't mind me saying so. I guess in the sense that it's a Christmas time movie. Yeah. The, yeah. Sure. But I think, you know... It, I see what you're saying, This though, takes yeah. place at Christmas... And it covers, and John McClane wants to reconnect with his wife. Yep, that's a Christmassy thing to do. What is it? And maybe it would have, without the without the appearance of the terrorists, maybe it would have been a classic Christmas movie. Do you think? Yeah, like a fun. I reckon he would have got too drunk at the party, and they yeah, and he would have hit up. a guy. Yeah, yeah, I reckon he would have hit a guy. <laughs> yeah, or he would have pulled a gun on a guy at the Christmas party. Yeah, uh, and then they would have asked him to leave. Yep, and, and he, he goes, would... "I'm a cop. I'm yeah, a yeah. cop." He shouts. Yeah, 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 and then he would get fired. Yep, and on the way out, he steps into the fountain by accident. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and then when he steps out of the fountain, he steps on a rake. Yeah, he's like, "I meant both of those things." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now the name. Name Die Hard, right? Yes. What a terrible name. Like, we only like, because uh, this is a great movie, obviously. But we only associate, like, good vibes with Die Hard. Uh-huh. Because they're, because there were two and a half good movies in the Die Hard franchise. Correct, yes. Uh, but it's like, it's like called it like, like, Kill, Kill Fall. Like, d- d- oh, sure. Okay, right. Down and Punch or whatever. Right. You know what I mean? Okay. That's like a Street Fighter movie. I was going to say, <laughs> if, how, how the fortunes would have changed if they'd called this movie Down, Down, Forward, Forward, <laughs> Punch, Hadouken. You know? Years before Street Fighter 2 came out. Well, there out. are Japanese elements to it. Mm. Uh, no doubt. But so, what, what you're mm. saying is, I think it's quite a good name. Like, conceptually, Die yeah, Hard. I mean, it is now. Okay. But like, I don't think if there was a movie that came out now of Bruce Willis and whatever he's up to now, and I do want to talk about like mm. the difference between this Bruce Willis and modern day Bruce Willis. Yes. If he had never made a movie called Die Hard and he released a movie called Die Hard and he's on the cover and he's back to back with a wrestler that you don't know. Or some guy called Jesse something. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah right. a guy called Jesse something, like a young guy. Yeah. Who, who had some popularity in like. Like teen dramas when sure. he was in his twenties, and now he just does these movies. Yeah, absolutely. But I, but what you're saying is, if the, if a movie called Die Hard was bad, it wouldn't be as popular. Yeah, we know, James. <laughs> no, what I'm saying is, it's not like a good name for a movie. Yeah, that is what I'm look saying. Look at this guy. Look at this. Oh. Look at this absolute slime ball. So, so much of this apparently was improvised, like at the time, because oh. they were just kind of running and gunning, shooting it, which often results in a bad movie. Yes. But this is one of those situations where. And it's the same with, like, the original Ghostbusters. Uh-huh. It's the same with, like, 
a second movie that I can't think of. Mm. Oh, the first Iron Man. That's sure, there yeah, we go. Yeah. Where like all of these elements somehow worked and, and, and somehow came together. Like this smarmy 80s guy, apparently he wasn't supposed to initially be so smarmy and like, like an absolute cokehead. But, but then it was the 80s. <laughs> yeah. and he oh, was, look. And he was smarmy and on coke. It's Jai Courtney and uh, <laughs> what's her name? Mary Kate Wins- Winslet. What's not Mary, Mary Elizabeth Winslet? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Who play his kids in later movies. That's right, yes. Yeah, that's fun. Um... Who turned down... Did somebody turn down the a role of John McClane before, yeah. before Bruce Willis? Because Bruce Willis was, for people who don't know, he was yeah. a... He was a sit- he'd, be, he'd been in movies, I think, but he was primarily he had a, couple of a like, sitcom actor. Yeah, he was in a series hits. called Moonlighting. Yeah, with Sybil Shepherd. With Sybil Shepherd, where he was a uh, private investigator. Yeah. And it was a bit uh, it was a bit quirky. It was a quirky private investigator show. Yeah, I think it was he he was a cop also, wasn't he? Or some kind of private it? investigator. I don't know. I've never, but it, well, he, so he wasn't like an officially licensed police I officer. I don't believe so. I've only seen a few episodes, but I believe he is a... Uh, my yeah. understanding is that that show completely lost its spark when they got the two characters together. That's is that right? Fam- famously, that is true. Famously, yeah. so there was like an uh, there was the there was the thinking, and then this has been a rumor since that he shot this at night while he was doing moonlighting. So but he was moonlighting, he was, making Die Hard. That's an excellent joke. Stick around for more, ladies and gentlemen. No, that's the last <laughs> one I'm going to do. <laughs> but he, um, Sybil Shepherd was pregnant. So he had 11 weeks off or something like ah. that. So that's when he made this. That guy this. looked exactly like Jay Leno. You just missed him. but it That was... was Jay Leno. He waved to the camera and said, it's me, insufferable human being, Jay Leno. He's <laughs> I'm like, about I, to, I don't I'm know a, I'm about it. to get into some sort of steam-powered roadster, <laughs> which is my ride from this airport. I have a lot of cars, but I don't even know if I enjoy them anymore. <laughs> I'm just at that point in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I don't spend I don't spend any of my talk show money. I only spend my stand up money and my appearance in Die Hard money. <laughs> That's exactly it. So a few names, like if you were to name like an, an action star, he's great. Bruce Willis, an action star from the eighties. Well, Bruce this was Willis. his first action kind of role. Mm. Who like. Like all the ones that you'd think, mm. that's the people that they went to. They went to Schwarzenegger. They went to Stallone. You know, they they basically ran the gamut of like popular. <laughs> they action went to stars. them together, it put them both in a room together, so they couldn't trick the other one into appearing. That's as right. Well. They're like we're we're offering it to both <laughs> of you. This movie though, and mm. maybe it would work. Maybe I'm wrong, but it doesn't work if you put a very muscular giant man in it. No, and I, and I think that was that was Willis's point of difference for this movie, some of the sequels, yep. and a bunch of other stuff in his career was the idea that he, unlike your, your Schwarzenegger and your Stallone, yeah. he was willing to a look like a relatively normal man and b take some hits. Yeah. Whereas in a movie like you know Commando, as enjoyable as it is, and we've done a commentary on Commando, yeah, he, oh, it's, it's a blast. Yeah, it's, it is a blast, but like he never. You know, he never. In, he, it's just him steamrolling anonymous soldiers, and he never takes a hit. And it's you know. No, I think he maybe is shot. Maybe yeah. I don't. I don't honestly <laughs> remember. He is injured. I don't remember how. But, but it's, it's only in the heart, fight. so it doesn't. It's irrelevant to it. Yeah, him. and every person that he fights, like the big guy he fights at the end, is a yeah. guy he could like throw like across a river. Yes, like exactly. with no with no <laughs> yeah, problem yeah, yeah. whatsoever. But yeah, the idea of this guy where, and you see it kind of more as he like loses clothes. He's got like a very attainable body. Yes, you know what I mean for right. a, for a regular person. You're uh-huh. like he's not in he's not in bad shape by any stretch. Yeah. But you know that's a guy who maybe does forty push ups a night and watches his alcohol consumption. Right. And that's like the extent. I thought you were going to say uh, does forty push ups a night and watches push up videos on YouTube <laughs> just for extra motivation. Yeah, but like, there's something so endearing about this character as well, and apparently that was like a, a big thing when making this movie, where he's kind of he's a, he doesn't like like himself. Like yeah, he's right. funny and he's mm. like affable, and you know people around him like him, and he's a you know he's a pretty good cop and whatever. Based on the novel by Roderick Thorpe. Oh man, I'll, okay, I'll tell you about this. So mm. there was a movie about ten years prior to this called The Detective. Oh yeah, and yeah, it yeah, starred yeah. one Franklin Sinatra. Mm. Famous singing man. Yes, uh, we've covered those movies for Caravan of Garbage. Two of them, not yeah. all of them, thank Christ. Oh, let's, for get Caravan of Garbage. let's get to the others. I'm very excited yeah. to get to the others. Anyways, uh, so that was based on a book. There was a sequel book, uh, which is ba- which this is based upon, mm. and they were obligated contractually to offer it to Frank Sinatra. Right. The problem was it was 1988, yeah. and yeah. Frank Sinatra was 70, yeah, maybe yeah, older, yeah, right. and so they were like, "Well, we have to ask him." 
and hopefully he won't want to do it. And he, because he wasn't really acting or doing much of anything. Yeah, I mean, right. he was doing things, but you know, it, it was <laughs> past his heyday. And so he turned it down, and so yeah. that was obviously a big relief to the studio. Maybe they showed him like, "Hey, we're gonna we're gonna tie a fire hose to, <laughs> fire hose to you and swing you up a building or whatever." So, so I yeah. Wonder, I wonder if they would have had to. I wonder if they pitched it to him like they were doing this movie, or did they pitch it to him like, "Okay, you'll be a cop in a building, and you, you're going to see your ex-wife, yep. and it'll just be you walking around corridors very <laughs> slowly." I doubt it, because if they pitched it to him like that, he probably would have said done yes, it. yeah. So yeah, that that's quite. Oh, look at that. Oh, so eighties. I'm loving. I'm loving everything about that mm. man. Oh, punch into the screen. Oh, is that touch screen? Please. <gasps> Hell yeah. Oh, it's not very responsive, but I love it. <laughs> Did you see that delay? Yes. Oh, they got that. Oh, that delay. Oh, that wow. hurts. That hurts my soul to see that. These days, if we encountered that, <laughs> that's like a GPS. You know, you get a so- GPS these yeah. days, and they still work like but that. But see, these this this would have been perfect for this era because you would have. You would have. You like, could think about it. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. People would. People wouldn't expect the reaction time we no. have these days. They would touch the screen and then wait. Yeah. And, and then be like, because like, happen and now? every interface is different where, that you go to. Yeah, so. that's true. No, yeah. Oh, oh that he, is. He's just discovered that. Uh, yeah. his, his wife isn't using his name anymore. It's oh, great. he's not happy with that, is yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Imagine if you came in and like the '80s technology they presented you with was a game of duck hunt, where you shoot your <laughs> name into the. It's probably it would be similar technology. You sign in with your key card, and then Rob the robot comes out of a little box, and he drives over to the door, and he like pulls a little lever, and he opens the door. Now, I guess the question the question then I have is um, the 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 first story that that was became a Sinatra movie. Yeah. Is that story now still on the table? Was that going to be part of the prequel? Well, I that's wonder? that's a great question because yeah, for those who don't know, before the Disney merger, uh, the idea was to definitely do another one of these. So obviously, the fifth Die Hard movie, which I've seen like ten minutes of, because it was just it's just like every generic Bruce Willis or any generic action movie yeah, yeah, you yeah. see these days. It's thoroughly. Uh-huh. Maybe it gets way better. Maybe. I've heard it doesn't. Yeah, it wouldn't. But yeah, they were going to do a sequel and prequel uh-huh. where it was his early days as like, I think they said beat cop, but I might be wrong. Yeah, right. And then there was going to be like ramifications of him in the present day. And I think the idea was also because it would have been set in like the mid to late seventies, they were going to recast Bruce Willis and then have him return for the so sec- the other sections, kind of, I guess, what they're doing with that new Indiana Jones movie. Yeah, right. If they did do it now, I wonder whether they would de-age him or, mm-hmm. like, put his face on someone else or, or whatever. But I also think that these movies now, like, big hits, yeah, like, yeah. over a billion dollars in revenue, mm-hmm. but definitely, like, diminishing returns, in particular the last one. Nobody... James, look at all these 80s babes. I'm loving... I'm, oh, he's like, only in bloody... Oh, he's, he doesn't like that, does he? <laughs> no. He's a New York cop. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. If that dude was in New York, he'd be, get, he'd get, be getting a thumping, I tell you that much. So this this was based on the novel Nothing Lasts yes, Forever. Yes, that's the one, so yeah. So that's, that's fun. Yeah, which is a better name probably. Yeah. So the, But then the, you can't do the Nothing Lasts Forever number two. Nothing is still I'm lasting forever. forever. Die Hard is a better name if you're doing sequels. I'll, that's true, I'll concede yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Um, so the movie Bullet is also based on, the Steve McQueen yeah, uh, right. movie is also based on a novel. Are called Mute Witness, yeah. which is by, which is written, was written by a guy called Robert L. Pike. Mm. That was his pen name. Do you know what his real name was? Robert L. Pike. <laughs> it was Robert L. Fish. <laughs> so he picked a different fish. Different type of, well, not a non-generic oh, fish. Oh, that is so fun. Very good, right? Yeah. Yeah. So apparently this guy, the um, the the guy who runs the, the Nakatomi Plaza, he appeared in a lot of like uh, like World War II movies, like Midway and all those kinds of things, playing oh, yes. like... A stereotypical uh, yeah. Japanese soldier or something, yeah. Yeah, or some kind of commander and and whatever. Is that a look? I'm uh, look. I'm I'm not, I'm not. I was in the eighties for some of it, but sure, I don't sure, really sure. remember it. Did, were people sporting beards like that? Was I don't. He was, and it's the eighties. Obviously, yeah. I, I I know, but like, wasn't it more like clean cut, big hair? Yes, but I think because you were saying this is eighty eight. I reckon this might. I reckon that be might might be Miami Vice related. Mm. Because I think it's another person they went to. They went to Don Johnson. Don Johnson, yeah. Because yeah. Tubbs, I believe, had a beard for at least the some of the later seasons, and I think that probably like Miami Vice was yeah. huge. So yeah, well, that's true. It gotta was. look it up real quick. Well, speaking of huge, so one one thing that was really unprecedented for this movie yes. was that Bruce Willis, despite being like a minor movie star and like a major TV star, 
got $5 million for this. Yeah. So he had like an incredible agency working for him that, that got him, you know, an insane amount of money. And now, of course, he does the uh, $1 million a day, day thing. Yeah, he got thing. a taste for it. He absolutely got a taste for it. Mm. So that's, that's super fun. Yeah, look, okay, so um, Miami Vice started in 1984, went till 1990. It was huge. I don't believe you. Okay, well, this is, this is Tubbs in 88. Okay, um, yep, I gotcha. Yeah, Why well, do they call him Tubbs? Is it his name? That's literally his name, Okay, yes. so they're not like nice... Yeah, no, so, face. so this guy has a Tubbs beard for sure. Yeah. I would say, yeah, like, it's, I would say the 80s was very, like, clean cut, but I guess... But, like, I mean, it's not like a crazy disheveled beard or no, anything. No, that's true, yeah. Look at that. Look at that achievable fitness. Mm -hmm. Look at that scar on his shoulder. I'd love to see a prequel movie where I'd... Uh, <laughs> I want to know where that came from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Where he got his infamous gun. The gun that he has. Yeah, the gun that he has. In three of the movies, I believe. He only has yeah, it in yeah. the first three. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I will say probably, that, probably the police gave it to him. I mean, I'd say they probably would. It's probably standard issue. Yeah, or they I'd like, reckon. or they were like, buy a gun at a gun shop and give us the receipt. We'll reimburse you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, within yeah. reason. Don't yeah. buy like an Uzi or something. We yeah. know it's the eighties, but don't get an Uzi. But look, if you do, obviously we can look the other way. Yeah, yeah. As long uh, as, just, as you don't, it's <laughs> just an extra bit of paperwork for us. Yeah, as long as you don't just. <laughs> Uzi people willy nilly. Yeah. As long as you don't do a willy nilly Uzi every day. If you're going to Uzi people, make sure you do it within work hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No off hour Uziing, please, John <laughs> McLean. <laughs> don't moonlight without Uzi, John McLean. That Absolutely. Would say. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. Oh, we, oh. They get sprung later, don't they, by terrorism. That's right. Speaking of that book, yes. uh, so the idea was that. Well, the, uh, f the Roderick Thorpe book. Yes. So. Initially, it's not the Robert L. Fish book. No, that's a that's a different man okay. and book. But I think it was the book and also the early draft of this before John McTiernan came on board, uh -huh. who also directed Predator. Um, that they were going to be terrorists, but then he went that oh, like real terrorists. Yeah, like real terrorists, as opposed to like in this. Like they were going to hire real terrorists. They were going to hire. They were going to hire like, them, like yeah. real extremists, and actually blow up the set of. The yeah, movie. and uh, John McClane was going to be a member of the brave Mujahideen, Mujahideen fighters. <laughs> that's terrific. That's yeah, I mean, they're going to do it that way. Yeah, Rambo three style. No, well, uh, what you're saying is that in the movie, the original script for the movie, the terrorists weren't going to be like, like guys doing a heist that were pretending yeah. to be terrorists. They were going to be actual terrorists. And I think the fact that. They changed it. I think that's so much better. And it's so much more interesting that at the end of the day, like these guys, it's just a money thing. There's yeah, no sure. ideology here. Yeah, yeah. They're just doing it because they can get a lot of money. And I think mm. that's pretty gosh darn cool. Mm. What do you think he got his chest hair? Where do you get his chest I hair? The I think the prequel. There'll be a, there'll be a, he'll be a he'll be a chest hairless man. Yeah. Right? And then he'll go through an action sequence and then it'll just spring up on him. Oh, that's yeah, good yeah. stuff. Yeah, I think it's good as well, yeah. What do you think you've got his, his white singlet? His white singlet? Apparently yeah. there were multiple singlets used on this. Wow. Because they're in various states of dishevelment. Mm. So you know that thing he says about he hates flying and you, you ball your toes up on the whatever? Oh, yeah. It's not a real thing. Oh, man. Obviously. Because, like, also, at this point, you're well off the plane. You are... That's true. <laughs> ...a couple of hours <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. clear of that mm. at this point. Yeah. Now, does that truck have an ambulance in it? Oh, great question. Because apparently that's one of those things that they added late in the day. Okay. And if you look at it, and if it is this truck, though I know there is a truck with an ambulance in it, yeah. I don't know whether it's this one, like uh -huh. you couldn't fit an ambulance in it. Well, see, that is the that is the kind of the the the, the curse of like a heist movie, whether, whether, whether it's the bad guys doing the heist or like an Ocean's Eleven style heist, yeah. is that if you if you were to watch this in the 80s, maybe you'd think about it for a minute. Mm. But when when's it going to come to home video? A year? Two years? Yeah. Never? Does home video exist You'll be point? dead by then. You might be dead by then. Yeah. But now we can just go back and like stop and pause endlessly and Relentlessly go... Relentlessly nitpick. Relentlessly nitpick, exactly. Yeah. And in the, you know, and I think, you know, in, 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 in this era, you wouldn't think about it. You'd go, ah, oh, yeah, maybe they drove another ambulance in later or something. You yeah, know? Maybe absolutely. That had, maybe, maybe that happened off air, but or, or like off screen or something like yeah. that. Uh, like they, they kill that guard, the guard and then they bring the ambulance in or whatever. But these days we need to go, ah, uh, we didn't see an ambulance come in, so... <laughs> no good. No good. But I think, you know, I'm sure there are plot holes in this and we will rip through all of them. As and we'll we use our famous catchphrase, that's a plot hole. That's a plot hole. hole. That's, a pl that's an Easter egg that's and that's a plot <laughs> that's hole. Right. Is it an Easter egg if it's the first movie? Probably not, I guess. Oh, no. <laughs> Unless it's a reference to moonlighting, probably. Oh, then that could be a moonlighting yeah. Easter. That's a moonlight. Do you think you played a lot of hockey in moonlighting, and that's I think a reference you'd to almost a, certainly played a that's lot. That's probably of a hockey, hockey puck-related thing. Yeah. Yeah. 
I don't think this one does have the ambulance in it. Mm. But uh, I can't wait to say it. There is a scene later where Hans Gruber, he produces a full-sized ambulance from his coat pocket. Does he really? Yeah, so I think maybe that's it. So that's... Is that, a, is that like German engineering? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. Alan Rickman, by the yeah. way. Yep. In his first cinematic role. Is it really? Yep. Was he in TV before this? Uh, I think a little bit, but he mostly was like you a think he was on the TV show Casualty? Actually, he was. He was the lead star of the TV show Casualty. John he, Casualty? Yeah, Jonathan Casualty. That's <laughs> oh, where he learned his American accent. That's incredible. Yeah. On a British TV series? Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's because he's, he's the only American in that show. Yeah, John it's, Casualty, it's like sure. The t- it's like the TV show Press Gang. John Casualty <laughs> from Cincinnati. They would always refer to him <laughs> as. Which I liked, personally. Yeah, how much of this? Uh, when did when did Gremlins two come out? Because of this hu- this high tech oh. like uh, was Gremlins two early nineties? I want to say. I'm gonna say. guess 1991. Yeah, because like I feel like a lot of that was you know like our building that's got incredible technology and security systems. Mm. Oh, by the way, this building is 1990. There you go. This building was a Fox owned building. Ah, oh. and so where they used to film it. Most of it inside and out. Right. And also, you know, the bit where you see, like, the construction and he's running through, like, unfinished, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. floors. Uh-huh. That was because it was, you know, like, they were still working on it, oh. the building. So, yeah, so they, they saved a bit of money right then and there, you know, which is fun. That is fun. Oh, key cards. Yep, hold that. How long for? Yeah, that's a key card from the right. 80s, I reckon. This was the era as well, and I don't think, I'm not sure they do it in this, but this was the era where... Just the concept of looping the cameras was such a it was such an amazing concept imagine? that you would de- they were, the characters would devote five to ten minutes on it. Like there'd be a whole sequence where somebody's like sweating and cutting wires yeah. in a back room and then putting the thing. And and you're waiting put- for somebody to look away from the monitor. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Can, he's one of the only German people in this. Like they're all supposed to be German, or right. most of them, but he's uh-huh. actually he's the one who's actually German. Yeah, right. Yeah. Anyways, but yeah, sorry. I was gonna say, but nowadays somebody will just they'll just have like I've a, looped the camera. They'll just go I've looped the cameras. They'll they'll put a little box on a wire, yep. or they'll just pick up their phone and tap on it and go, I've looped I've the looped camera. I've looped the cameras, yeah. <laughs> the cameras. I don't need anybody to worry about that because yeah, yeah. I'm looping the cameras. Mm. Yeah. I remember the first time I saw this in I don't know, early to mid nineties. Mm-hmm. It's just from the get go. It's just, it's just everything about this works. Mm. You know what I mean? And I think it's, and I couldn't even tell you specifically, because like, <laughs> obviously if you could, if you knew, you could replicate it. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I think yeah. a lot of movies have like tried to do it since, but do you think this is also the end of like the invincible action man and more like, does this even go like move? In, I mean, he is an invincible action man, but go as far as like the matrix where Keanu Reeves isn't like, an enormous muscle bound. Oh yeah, like dude, how long does that? I mean? Yeah, I mean, I think, that, I think, I think, um, yeah, not non invincible. Here we go. He's probably looping the cameras. Um, <laughs> like non invincible muscle man, I think lasted pretty much all the way to. You're still seeing the non invincible. Yeah, the rock. Man. Yeah. I, yeah, but I. Th- oh yeah, uh, yeah, that's true. I think at a certain point, I don't know. Like I, I wonder if there is some cultural connection from like things that happened in the 80s mm. and things that are happening now where like the general public's like, yeah, no, we want an enormous man yep. to just steamroll people and <laughs> and it cannot be stopped by anything. Yeah. You know? Well, I guess like John Wick is, well, he's not enormous, but he's a man steamrolling people. But he looks like he's having a hell of a time of it, isn't he? Yeah, that's true, yeah. Are these guys brothers? Probably. Yeah. Or maybe they're just German. They also hired tall. So most of these guys are like well over six foot. All right. Because often like your lead guy has to be the biggest guy. Again, like Bruce Willis, yeah. I think is, he's not short, but he's not like an enormous man. Mm. I think he's like 5'11", something like that. He's looking so smooth though, I tell you oh what. Oh my God, that face. Not the German guy. No, Bruce I know. Willis. Look Bruce at his Willis. face. It's just crease free. Well, what yeah. is he, like 34? Let's find out. Okay, let's do it. Let me figure that out. No, his name's Brewster Willis. Is that right? Yeah, that is correct. Yes. Brewster Willington. <laughs> he must. What what his real name is. I'll figure it out. You're saying Bruce Willis is not his real name? I was reckon it's not. Uh, <laughs> Are we cracking a case here, James? Is that, is that what's happening? We're cracking a case, Die Hard We're going to look at all the clues and Easter eggs in the movie Die Hard that prove Bruce Willis's name is not Bruce Willis. So he was born in 55, okay, which means he was 33 when he made this, wow. which means he was younger than both of us. <laughs> Yeah, but he looks older than both of us. Not me, but... Uh, <laughs> I think he looks older than both of us put together. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, he is 66, and that's still... That's less than both of us put together. That's true, yes. Yeah, so let me find out what is... What is mm. He's got an upcoming movie called A Day to Die, 
Surely not. <laughs> wow. An upcoming American high style film directed by Wiz Miller stars Bruce Willis, Frank Grillo. He's doing a lot of Frank Grillo stuff. Oh, Kevin Dillon's in it. Oh, I like It's going it. to be released by Vertical Entertainment in February of 20. They caught those, those, those couple of 80s. Oh, I a missed it. Couple of 80s it. hotties. Oh, I would have loved that in the early mm. 90s. Um, the budget for this upcoming movie, called A Day to Die, is uh, between 5 and 20 million. Wow. So somewhere in that ballpark. <laughs> sure, sure. I'm going to say five, and one of those is going to Bruce Willis. I agree. Yeah. Let's find out his real name. Or five and two is going to Bruce Willis. That would be my guess of the breakdown. Okay, not a silly name, and I apologize, okay. uh, but he was Walter Bruce Willis. Oh, okay. Also, fun fact, I saw this today. Yes. Uh, you know how he's fighting Germans? Most of them aren't German, obviously, including Alan Rickman. Yes, yes. Bruce Willis was born in West Germany. Oh, he's got a German mother and an American father, wow. or vice versa, or something like that. So, if wow. there, there's one German terrorist in this wow. building, there's one, <laughs> if there's one Kraut, <laughs> one absolute. <laughs> if 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 we're hunting Jerry <laughs> in this movie, then it is this this fellow right here. It's this man right here. See, that's a classic. I would consider that a classic gun of like. The the like the nineties. That's a nineties gun. Yeah, I wonder right. if this like set a trend. I guess what's also interesting about this is, yeah. I mean, he gets other guns, uh -huh. but he doesn't have like huge guns like the whole time. You know what I mean? He's not That's like true. again like Commando or Rambo, where he's just picking up submachine guns and he'll kill forty people and he'll throw it down and then he'll pick up a different submachine yeah, 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 yeah. gun. You know, there's yeah, none yeah, of yeah. that. Mm. Uh, but here we go. As I learned recently, a lot of a lot uh, the the Beretta ninety two, which is what that is. I was going to say, uh, is it a Beretta? But I didn't want gun it nerds is, it coming It is a after Beretta ninety two. Uh, production began in nineteen seventy six for this movie. No, yeah, that's well before. I know, right? Well, they had to get the guns first. <laughs> <laughs> but that, but I think of that like as a nineties gun. Yeah, totally. Like, and I'm like, all the earliest I've ever seen is this, and it's a the lethal weapon gun or whatever. It's old AF that yeah. gun, isn't it? But the, but and, and, but it also like styling wise, I'm like, well, that's very eighties nineties styling. Yeah, but obviously it's not. It's late seventies. I'm sure. Also, there was a movie where they were going to make a Die Hard movie where he goes back to Japan and they're like honoring him. They're oh. like, you did that awesome Die Hard that time, I reckon. Yeah, and this yeah. is like, and then that happened that he gets he has to do a Die Hard again. Mm. Did you say uh, speaking of Die Hard sequels? And I I, I know you have. That dude is just, look at that, look at that Coke sweat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Seen that in real life. It's very unpleasant. Mm. Um, not me. I'm not a, I, I, I feel the need to clarify. Just the man in the mirror. I don't, I don't the coke do mirror. coke. I've never done a cocaine in my life. But um, there was an ad, there was a commercial for maybe Duracell. Okay. And it's got the, the limo driver in it, I think. Okay. And it's got Bruce Willis modern day. And the villain is the hacker that we saw who does these talking about. Magic Johnson or whatever at the yeah, start, right. and he kicks the the dude off the. What's an ad for? It's like Duracell. a. It's like a, but it's like a Die Hard sequel, and he's fighting the guy from this. And was it only? It was only released in Japan, is what you're saying. No, it was released here. Oh. That other thing I said was a different thing. Oh, okay, I'm talking right. about two separate things. Yeah, right, right. So that's fun. Oh, did you ever play this game on NES, the Nintendo Entertainment System? Well, we could talk about it. There was a few of them. Um, yeah. That's it's a fairly accurate game. I like that. It? I thought it was a good fun. Yeah. I never owned it, but I when you could. It was back in the day when you could rent a you could rent a game from the game store or the video store. Rent a game. Yeah. What year were you do born? You, do you not remember this? <laughs> I've never even rented a game. <laughs> You've rented games. I rented the game Clay Fighter once. I <laughs> know. Oh, See, there we go. But uh, yeah, so you you would go up the many floors of the Nakatomi Plaza. It was like a top down. Was it forty? Was it like forty levels or something whatever? like that? Yeah. yeah. I don't think so. Maybe some of them were not in use. But uh, probably the 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 most interesting thing was you had a life bar and you had a foot life bar gauge. Oh, that's fun. So you have to, you know, you'd have to. Avoid getting shot, but also you'd have to avoid getting your glass. feet torn up by glass. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, I forgot that was coming. That's unpleasant. So unpleasant. Yeah, I know. That was one of the things I remember being impressed with at the time, being like, this guy doesn't have any fucking shoes. Yeah. <laughs> like, what a, like, what a weird inclusion. Like, and it could be also like, he doesn't have shoes and he's okay. Like, you could have just written it like that. That's you true. know what I mean? But they make it like a plot point. They could have said he didn't have shoes for a minute and then he found some shoes. He got some shoes and he was okay. He does find some shoes, but they're the wrong size Yeah, shoes. they're the wrong size. Mm, I would have squeezed myself, my, my, my feet in those shoes. It seems like they couldn't do that, Mason. Yeah. Don't you think Bruce Willis would have done that if he could have? Yeah, probably. Don't you think there was also Die Hard Arcade. Do you remember Die Hard Arcade? Yeah, I do. That was... The, was Well, there was... One of them was... 
it wasn't Die Hard. It was a game that was like loosely based yeah. off Die Hard, and it they was, changed it. It was called it, in 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 Western countries. It was called Die Hard Arcade. Yeah. In the in Japan, it was called Dynamite Decker. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, it was it's like two a, player, right? It's yeah, like it was, a brawler. Yeah, it was like a two player, like three D polygon brawler. But yeah. You could pick up a, a bunch of guns. Really fun. Yeah, and they like. I don't know if he. I don't know if the main character looked like. Uh, Bruce, he sort of Bruce, did. Yeah, bro. I don't know if he looked like Bruce Willis in Japan, and they or they. No, played, no, they did. Like it was yeah, right. Bruce loosely, Bruce Lee based. Bruce Lee based. <laughs> um, on Bruce. Willis. Oh, we gotta we gotta use that in future. <laughs> Every time Bruce Willis is in a in a bad director to streaming uh, <laughs> movie. Yeah. But uh, so yeah, they pretty much changed some elements of it. But there's a yep. lot of stuff in that game that's like it's set in a building or whatever. But there's a lot yeah, of stuff yeah. that's not kind of Die Hard related. There was that's also true. on I think it was PlayStation One it was a Die, Die Hard trilogy. trilogy, yeah, 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 where it was all the first three movies, and the first one was like a brawler in yep. the Nakatomi Plaza. I can't remember the specific specifics of the second one, but the third, third one, one was you like just a had taxi. to wear that sandwich board with a slur. <laughs> oh on. Just no. Through, just like Pac Man, but you had to oh, wander through neighborhoods. Oh, that's awful, Mason. You could never get with away with that now. a slur on it. Yeah. Let me check. Uh, well, I want to know what the second game is. The third one was, um, yeah, you're in a taxi and you're like yeah. trying to get to different things around New York and whatever. I remember the first game, the first one being the most interesting because it's like the brawler. Yeah, but yeah. The fact that they worked a lot of different play styles into that game was pretty, or oh, was also on the Sega Saturn. Uh, it was pretty interesting. Let me check uh, gameplay. So, oh man, D- Dynamite Decker, he really has that widow's peak. Oh, uh, look at him go. Yeah, yeah. that was two player, wasn't it? There was, yeah, a, yeah. there was Die Hard and a woman. Mm. It was called Die Hard and a Woman in the West, I believe. That's right, yeah. Uh, so the first game was the player battles terrorists and rescues hostages in Nakatomi Plaza. Yeah, die yeah. Hard 2 Die Harder is presented as an on-rail shooter. Okay. So I guess it was kind of like, yeah, so you could use a light gun. So I guess it was like a time crisis kind of thing. Yeah. And Die Hard with a Vengeance. You're on the roller coaster that goes around the airport. <laughs> and Die Hard with a Vengeance, the player goes on a joyride. A taxi cab sports car and dump trunk throughout New York City are tasked with finding you, finding and uh, defusing different bombs. I'll be interested to know how long that actually goes for. Like what's mm. the play time of that game? Let me check. Let me do look play through. Emily ask let me ask you this about this movie James. I know everything about this. That's terrific. So, <laughs> is this one of those movies where if the main character didn't intervene Everybody would escape scot free because I know later in the movie they okay. put everybody on the roof and they bl- and they're going to blow it up. Yeah, okay. But were they not going to do that before Bruce Willis no, intervened? No, I think they were going to do that regardless. Okay, all right. Because well, that right would then. that would cover their crimes. Oh yeah, and that would have and I think all the um by the time they figured out what happened with the transactions and everything, yeah, they'd yeah. be too busy looking at the bodies and yeah, okay, right. And they'd cut all the wiring and whatever. That's true. They loop the cameras. So probably. yeah, but at the same time, like a bunch of fucking eighties yuppies and cokeheads <laughs> go up in an explosion. Who gives a shit? What about his wife? Who gives a fuck? They're what not about- even together in the third movie. <laughs> wow. Well, I cannot wait for your divorce, James, and how that's going to go. Wow. Uh, no, you're right though. <laughs> Oh no, you got James, t- your wife wants one of the cars. Well, I'm going to blow her up in a building. <laughs> I'm going to blow up the building she's in. Uh, no, you make a good point. He, mm. it, it was, it's good that he intervened and killed all these Germans. I think so too. Yeah. yeah. Again, they're not all Germans. Because I'm thinking primarily of like your Indiana Jones movies where if Indy, Indy didn't intervene. Yeah, most of them would just play All the out. Nazis would have just died yeah. on their own. I think Temple of Doom is the one that they say... He directly affects. Yes, yes. And I'm sure that you could make the case for the other ones, but mm. I won't. I won't do that right now. Yeah, Alan Rickman, he's looking good. Forty-two <laughs> years old. Uh huh. Um, making first appearance. Yeah, mm. that's very fun. Before that, he was on the bill. Was he? As Bill. He was Bill. Bill from yeah, the Bill. Yeah, Bill. <laughs> <It was> Bill. Bill. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Detective Bill. Bill. <laughs> I'm gonna go bad uh, soon. Oh no. That's right. Yeah. That's good fun. So I guess off the back of this, he got... Um, <laughs> don't, call me, don't call me old Bill. <laughs> the old Bill. <laughs> so off the back of this, I guess Alan Rickman got Prince of Thieves, I guess. All right. Oh, look at these servers, Mason, probably. Or is that air conditioning? Might be air conditioning. Oh. Might be hair conditioning for all this bloody 80s. Am I right, everybody? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Am I right, everybody? You're right, everybody. Ooh. You're right, everybody. So apparently it says 12 terrorists. I think Indiana Jones kills this guy, that guy we just saw. <laughs> just shows up as a little yeah. Easter egg. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Bang! I'm out I've of come boards. out of a time portal <laughs> from the 40s. Here we go. But um, what was I going to say? Yeah, I think it says there's 12 terrorists. Okay. But there's actually 13. Are we including Alan Rickman? I think that includes Alan Rickman, okay, yes. Right. 
Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that guy. I'm pretty sure he kills. Oh yeah, him. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, He's been in a bunch of stuff. He's in a bunch of stuff. Mm. Yeah. I would, I would, I would wager a guess that many of the people in this are in a bunch of stuff. That's interesting that you say that because I would wager a guess that none of them have ever been in anything else. I'm including every single person in this movie has never appeared in a different movie. Wow. Yeah. And I mean, I'm willing it, to stake my reputation on that. I mean, there's no way to prove it either way. Though, I know. So I know. You know, that's, I know. What a fun gentleman's wager we've done. Just oh, now. it's good to have a bit of sporting fun, isn't it? It sure is. Yeah. Ah, oh, Alvin Rickman. He's all right, isn't he? You remember the you remember the blonde haired Germans? Yeah. Um, you yeah, I don't remember many of the other guys. You remember guys. the guy that Indiana Jones I remember him. You remember the hacker? Yeah. There was just a generic guy earlier who was wearing just like a, yeah, like I'm a like, work jacket. I looked at that guy and I'm and like, I'm like, I've never there seen him is. before. Yeah. There you go. Oh, I was thinking of a different guy. Oh, no. But yeah, no, you're right. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Yeah. He's talking to himself. He's talking to himself. Did he give up on that on sequ- in the sequels? Probably four No, I don't think so. Oh, maybe, maybe who knows? Yeah. Because I, I oh, in four he had Justin Long to talk to, and then did. later Kevin Smith, and yeah, in that very same movie, and the th- and and Mary Elizabeth, Elizabeth Winstead, and he had to fight the guy from The Mandalorian, not the main guy, Timothy Oliphant. Oh yeah, who was a super hacker. I maintain the Die Hard Four. Yes, it's pretty good. I didn't hate it. And it's I've, not. I've, I liked it at the time. I think it's better than two. Mm. Also, there's an R-rated version of it, All right. uh, which is slightly better. Mm. But this guy's getting his nipples steamed. Which is I appreciate he? It. Yeah, a yeah. German nipple steaming. That's right. We have to do the hacking. Mm. No, I'm going to do my... This is his voice. Yes. No, I'm going to do my German nipple steaming. It's part of my culture. <laughs> and your a, culture. Yes, we're both German. <laughs> Couple of Germans. Real tattoo, you reckon? No. Wow, controversial. Because this is when he cared. They're like, we'll give you a scar, or we'll give you a tattoo. That's true. He's like, I'm on board. I love caring about things. Yeah. And these days, if they're like, we're going to give you a scar, we're going to give you a tattoo. And he's like, can you apply those while I'm walking through the door to the set? Yeah. Because if you can't, if it can't be instantaneously applied, <laughs> if it can't just be sprayed on, no dice. <laughs> Absolutely not. Oh, that's good fun. He's a good fun man. Yeah. <laughs> So we should talk about that a bit. So Bruce Willis of late, I would say mm. the last 10 or so years, obviously it seems... What era, what, before we go, what era would you think that gun was from? That, the gun that he just had? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 60s. You're right, it is the 60s. I could tell by its Soviet muzzle. Oh. I don't know anything about guns. Is okay, it nice. Soviet? It's not up no, to it's me German. to say. Yeah, I know. Yep. I was joking. <laughs> okay. It was a joke. All right, all right. But again, you, know, you like, don't understand my jokes sometimes, basically. No, that's true, actually. I should get better at understanding <laughs> your jokes. <laughs> But um, what was I going to say? I can't remember. So, yeah. So, Bruce Willis, obviously. Oh, do you want to talk about the the payday that he receives? Oh, now? modern modern Bruce Willis. Modern Bruce Willis, yeah. Well, supposedly. Allegedly. According to some sources. Yep. Uh, that's the H&K slap. Oh, is it? So, yeah, yeah. The HKS. It's uh yes it's it's where you, you check you check there's a round in the chamber and you I love oh I'm a big fan yeah no I know it's in the manual they're like slap it yeah anyway um supposedly in his contracts these days or th- this has never I've never seen any no there's no definitive no I've, nobody's ever seen the paperwork but based on things that people have said including like Stallone and other people yeah his payday now apparently or it's in his contract that he will only he'll work for a minimum of one million dollars per day. Yep. And generally speaking, if he's, so he's not big, look how big he is. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's so a good on. angle work. Yeah. Um, but and and if he's not like the main star, if he's not the main character in the movie, generally speaking, he'll only work for one day. Yes. So, the the production of the movie will have to arrange all his scenes to be filmed on the one day. Yep. Even if he's in the start of the movie and then he's at one, he's in the midpoint and he's at the end, yeah. which he probably often is, and even if that would require them flying, or, you know, apparently flying around the world or whatever, <laughs> he's just like, nah, they've got to all be in... So much of it is like the back of another guy's head. Yeah, as yeah, well, yeah you know? for sure. Yeah, so oh, that's and that that is also apparently in his uh, in his contract. Is yeah, if, you if have you to show the back. If of you don't see head. his face in the scene, it's a double. Yeah, which I guess is not that. It's hard. also very obvious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mate, what was was surrogates the last movie he cared on? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Did he care in surrogates? I can't remember. Yes. I've seen it. But well, his daughter, or, uh, one of his kids, Willow, um, Willow Willis, Willow, Willow Willis, who he had, I think he had with Demi Moore. Yes, who. He was married to around this Bill time. Willow Willis? Rumor Willis. Rumor Willis. Yeah, yeah, yeah sorry. Yeah, it's that one. <laughs> okay. You're um, thinking of Bill Bill. I'm thinking of Billy and Bill. I'm thinking of Bill. Billy and Bill. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, she said um, that he's also, he has hearing problems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so when people are like, oh, this guy's so cranky. Yeah, it's be, like it might just be like a genuine like, you know, he's coming to terms with, you know, getting older and yeah, not yeah. being able to like 
comprehend a lot of things that are happening around him. And apparently, there's a scene in this where he's under the table and he fires a gun. And I read that they apparently used extra loud blanks in this because they... Which, why? Just put it in in post. You don't need to use <laughs> yeah. extra loud blanks. Yeah. But the idea was that... Uh, yeah, so not, not the idea was what happened was he fired the gun close to his ear and he lost like 60% of hearing in one ear. Oh, that was a long so, time ago. Yeah, so it began on this. So it probably, like, it's not going to get better no, since true. then. So this was kind of like, and this is right. also in the day where it was like, ah, put who a cares, blanket yeah. or whatever, who cares, and yeah, et cetera, yeah, yeah. you know? Yeah. As if that dude has tiny feet. He's enormous. And also there's like sneakers. Yeah. <laughs> Just squish him around. Like, even if the, even if you stretch the toes yeah, they're not out. not that big, are they? No. Um, what I was going to say, uh, and... Uh, uh, speaking of like this is fun again with his payday Evan, uh, Stallone once said or S- Stallone asked him to be on one of the expendable sequels three I want to say and he's yeah. and, and and he was he was offered three million dollars but it was four days work and so yeah. he's like no because that threw out the ratio yeah and that's so. I mean you just get to hang out with like like some of your mates and maybe they're, well, they're probably not yeah. all mates obviously but like as if you wouldn't do that yeah that's We'd know. do this even if we weren't be being paid one million dollars each. I wouldn't do it, but like I understand what <laughs> I understand what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> conceptually, you get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm on the cusp also. Yeah, like yeah. if it dropped to nine hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars, I'd be like, oh, I don't know, man. It's not something you're it's as not, interested in. I'm, I'm a seven figure guy, as you know. I'm a seven That's figure true. movie commentarian. You're an S- SFG. Yep, precisely. <laughs> You just checking if that's recording. That's true. Yeah, it's not. This is to nobody. That's this is good. for us. That's what I want. This is about the experience. That's of all watching. I want. I want. I want to hang out with my friends. <laughs> I want to. I want the experience. I want that million dollars. As long as I'm getting the million dollars, <laughs> yeah, that doesn't, doesn't matter. really matter to me if this is being released yeah. or not. Yeah. So this is. Uh, I I really enjoyed the the ho ho ho. I've got a machine gun. Yeah, it's good stuff. Also, like you. Oh, look at that hip Fabio looking dude. Does that guy have a uh, have a stick of uh, li- lipstick on him? Because oh, that is like question. a very uh, mm. or an excellent marker at the very yeah, least. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, probably had a um, or it's blood. Is it meant to be blood? I don't. I mean, blood wouldn't. You no, wouldn't it's get true. It that wouldn't you? Neat, would you? Yeah. It's probably got a. He had probably, a marker. Probably got a sharpie marker. I bet they've all got like a backpack of similar things. Markers and so forth. Yeah, yeah, and that's fun. Yeah. <laughs> right now, Rickman's like. I shouldn't have even given everyone the marker. Yeah. Because now... Now he's now got a being, marker. Yeah, he's got a marker and we're being mocked with the marker. What if he marker ca- mocked. What if he catches me and he draws a big monocle on me? That's right. Oh, I would Because of that. how much of a fancy lad I am. <laughs> and I'm tr- I try to hide it from the guys, but they are, they're, they're starting to suspect I'm a fancy lad. Uh, so apparently also Bruce Willis yeah, did a lot of his stunts, including like being on top of this elevator. Yeah, right. Yeah, he did most of the... Most of the big stuff in this he did. I, wa- I watched an interview with him. Oh, he does have a marker. I watched an interview. Oh, it's a different color. How many markers has he got? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's a four marker. <laughs> no, it's not a four no, marker. No, 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 Maybe no. it's one of those ones where you flip it and there's a red one on the back. Maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you say to me that's a four marker, I'm a, I'm a, I am cannot accept that. All right, fine. That is... Mate, he's got a 20 pen. That dude's got a 20 pen. 20 pen is unusable. It's an unusable piece of equipment. Was it, was it, when we were kids, was it a ten, 20 was pen a ten or a 10 pen? pen? I think yeah. they were both. Okay, right. Wow. Four pen, very reasonable. Two pen, I think even better. Because you only really need the red and the blue, really, mm, don't yeah, you, yeah, realistically? Yeah. yeah. Mm. yeah. yeah how, often you, how often are you using green unless you are the real-life version of M, who famously used green pen? Is that true? That is true. I didn't know that. Well, now you do know it, and you can't ever unknow it unless it's such an insignificant fact you forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> in which case you will forget about it. Oh, uh, no, I hope I remember that on my deathbed. Yeah, yeah. And I remember you told me and I'm like, fuck him. And I think what'll happen is you will you <laughs> Boobs, will, yeah, I don't know about that. You'll 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 be breathing your last breath and you'll go, Green pen. And your family will be like because they're back after the divorce. Yeah, yeah. And they'll be like, well, that's good. What did he mean? Let's go through all the green pens in the house. Maybe there's a clue. And then eventually they come across this audio commentary. Yes. That's right. <laughs> Well, they'll go to the listeners for uh, for, for answers. Oh, yeah, because they're still listening, are they? They sure are. <laughs> yep. That's right. Just a few diehards, as it were. That's true. That's uh, fun, Mason, that you've said that. Maybe that's what I've it seen. means. That's Maybe yeah. that's what it means. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, uh, YouTube and uh, podcasting, fame. 
middling yeah. fame is is ever fleeting. You know what I mean? I agree. But so if anybody sticks around at my time of my death, I'd very much That's appreciate right. it. They'll probably be in the room with you. Oh God, I hope not. <laughs> Wait, unless they've played paid money over at bigsandwich.co. That's right, yeah. Where all our movie commentaries and yeah, early yeah. podcasts are available, Mason, and early yeah. videos. Yeah. Just a little plug in the middle for all people right, all right. How much, listening to this how who are already paid for. How it. much collective money <laughs> would somebody have to either either donate or like it, it's accrued over over Big Sandwich, like nine dollars a month to okay. attend your funeral. Attend my funeral. Yeah. I don't give a shit. Anyone can come to my funeral. Nice. I don't give a flying fuck. You can speak. I was. <laughs> that was my next question. <laughs> uh, oh boy. Uh, now, do you think that's a real rooftop? Yes. Nice. It absolutely is. Most of this, as I said, if you were listening, I wasn't Mason. listening. That's the thing. I was enjoying the movie. Die. That is the problem we face. That's interesting. It's either have a conversation. Ooh, Kenwood. That's a big name brand. Kenwood, what do what do they? What do they do? Uh, walkie talkies. What else do they do? Probably TVs. Forty years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I think they had the official duck hunt TV, didn't they? I think they did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's fun. Just the just the the head of Kenwood and Magnavox, just <laughs> just all these old brands, just at a, having a board meeting and laughing over their yeah. piles of money. Where are you now, Magnavox? Magnavox. God. That is. Where is Magnavox? Let's look him up. Don't know. Yeah, founded by um Jason Magnavox. Mm. That I think is an Australian gun. Not is that it? one. Not that one. Yeah. That one's German. Because it's smoking a durry. That one. Yeah, it's smoking a durry. Yeah, yeah. You can tell. That's right. Yeah, they're still around. It was founded in 1970. That gun is telling some of those Germans that if you're going to try Vegemite on toast, put a whole lot of it, like a big thick, <laughs> a big thick coating of Vegemite. He's doing that classic prank, so you know he's Australian. That's fun. Mm. I love classic pranks. Yeah. I'm happy to be there to say one. But you should put a heaps of Vegemite on your on your toast. I think. I can. Uh, I'm I'm a medium amount of Vegemite, mm. but also the. James, the... I'm doing the prank. Oh, I'm Mason. Our, then I I'm agree with you. Loyal I agree with you, Nick Mason. Yeah, 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 I'm doing. Nice. I'm doing what you think. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah Magnavox yeah. Art was uh, was since 1974. It's been a subsidiary of uh, Philips. Oh, Philips, that other big name TV brand still that still do TVs. I don't know. <gasps> Twinkies. Oh man, that's so funny. Reginald Val Johnson. Is he the same character in all these movies where he plays a cop? Yep, I reckon he is. I don't reckon he is. Well, is he the same character from? Family matters. Yes. Apparently, he get gets people like he had for a time people like throwing Twinkies at him and giving him Twinkies. Huh. That's which weird because be, I don't even remember this. Scene. No, me neither. Which would also be weird if like, like because they're not good. No. Well, it's, I was going to say like that. I I think look, I've I've mentioned this on numerous uh, numerous podcasts and and probably commentaries. Mostly when Ghostbusters. Was, when I was a kid, I was obsessed with with Twinkies because we didn't think about. we didn't get them in Australia for no. years and years. We just had those guns covered in Vegemite. That's exactly right. And then then James, they finally arrived. His door was ajar. Yeah. Fuck me. He's a bad. He's not. Cop. A, he's not we'll a find good out cop. later. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, then they arrived in the form of twinkles. Yes, and I and I ate one, and I'm like, this is awful. Well, it was a twinkle. Yeah, no, but that was the same though. I looked it up. I made sure to check. I oh, looked it up on what? The um, local library. You I, went down I, to the I local checked library. a BBS, James. What's a bulletin a B- board system. Oh, I checked teletext on my television. Oh, really? Yeah. Your Magnavox television. My Magnavox television with teletext. That's what I did. So there's a. Gonna... I don't remember this scene either. I remember it. Isn't there, is this the one where there's a big explosion on the roof? Actually, it's... No, that's later, I think. So this isn't the fire hose bit. No, I don't think so. Well, then I don't remember it either. Yeah, see? Ah, oh, Bruce Willis, you're not getting shot enough. Yeah, because he hasn't he hasn't mangled his feet yet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's having a good time. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's too many bullets for you. Like, yeah, why? yeah, yeah. God, that's a switch. Do you reckon move. Mythbusters is done? Can you open a door by shooting a lock a bunch of times? Let me check. Okay, if you could. I would say absolutely. YouTube definitely has. If you blow out the mechanism. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't need Mythbusters to tell me. No, that's true. Mythbusters are uh, shoot. They've definitely done shoot a padlock off, I think. Can you oh, okay. shoot a padlock off with a gun? And I think you can't usually. What? Because they're too, like, it's, it's usually like, you know, the the actual, like, the fold over U-shaped thing. Yeah, like it, it would move. Too, yeah, it's too thick. I think generally, like they they're not they're not really prone to shattering. So, uh, it's too expert. Uh, oh, well, I've got a MythBusters clip I can actually watch, but is that good content? Yeah, it's great. It's only thirty seven seconds. Yeah, but do it in t- absolute silence. I James, am for copyright purposes. Oh, fuck 
Where is it? This in the video? You stupid. James, are you taking a video of me? No, I'm not James, taking, a video. taking a video of me. Mason, I don't James, care about you. Delete it, James. I'm not going to delete it. Delete it. Yes, yeah, this is the padlock one. Okay. No, they can't. It seems you're right. That's what I thought. Let me check it. Check, check Mythbusters. Okay. Die Hard. Okay. Can you kill that many Germans? <laughs> Let's find out. Okay. Uh, so Die Hard stent, stunt tested. Uh, tested the theory of trying a rope around a dummy equipped with sensors and shoving it off a six-story tower. And the result is... Yes, go on. Smashed to bits, probably. Uh, they yanked the rope, gave the dummy a terminal whiplash, so they attempted to drop the dummy four stories. The four-story drop still appeared too violent and would have likely resulted in injury. Mm. Assessing that a two-story drop was, drop was plausible, the men set out their test the ability uh, to shoot off of the building and swing back through a window. It quickly became apparent that the element of the trope was very plausible as the glass seemed to shatter quickly and easily. Uh, Lung put on protective gear and using a, a belay system to minimise impact on his spine. He jumped from the building, fell two stories and swung safely through. Oh, they did it for real. Shattered a pane of glass. Uh, oh. He proved the trope is totally plausible, except he didn't because he did it off two stories. Yes, that's true. Not six. Yeah, that's so, true. you know. Yeah, 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 but yeah. that's okay. I think that's still cool. Uh, that's okay, yeah. Yeah. God, these Germans. Well, I know, right? Yeah. Didn't they learn any lessons mm. from um, the movie Die Hard? Thinking about like the different sausages they make. Oh yeah. Wouldn't you yeah. learn something about the process and how it's all about how the sausage is made? How the sausage yeah, is made. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I yeah. can think of a single thing that except for sausages. This <laughs> bit here. A nice bratwurst. Nice brat. This bit here where the stunt man yes. actually fell. Six stories. No, a Heaps little bit because I think that's a forced perspective like thing. But he yeah. literally like he wasn't supposed to fall and he did. Oh no. And then they left it in Whoa. because they're like, yeah, pretty cool. Christ. So if you watch this bit when he falls, it's a real fall. Oh, man. Get ready for it. I don't, don't like it. He's not going to have a machine gun for much longer, is he? Mm, no machine gun for him. Mm, I agree. <laughs> oh, that didn't like look like it would have turned it off. Mm. You know what I mean? Yes. Okay. Let's see. Oh, this is very exciting. Let's see it. Let's see it. Okay. Because it, the way they edit it, yeah, he's just kind of. I think there's a quick hand shot of him climbing in, and you could have just. Yeah, you know, right. it's very edit edit aroundable. Okay. Just do the fall. Do God, the thing this is I so said. Tense. Do the thing I said. Do the thing I said was going to happen in this movie. Do the thing. Die hard. God. I would hate this. Yeah. Same. Yeah. But it's not a real. What you're saying is. Yeah, he missed it. All oh, right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he really did, didn't he? Yeah. But how, how, like, that obviously looks like 30, 40 stories, yeah, it's or whatever, not. but it's not. Yeah. Okay, yeah. He probably just fell on a These pad. These are famous matte paintings. They'd say they would have. They just used a matte. He's a, a Chris uh, Macquarie matte painting. Oh, he's good, isn't he? He's yeah. one of the, isn't he more of a posters man? Do you think he also does no, a he matte did painting? This, he did a matte painting of <laughs> an elevator <laughs> shaft for Die Hard. <laughs> There's an iconic shot, if yeah, ever yeah. I've seen one. Yeah. How are you with small spaces? I like them. Yeah? Oh, you like them? No, I don't like them. You like them? No, I don't like them, So if you were a Dracula, would you mind sleeping in a coffin or would you not like it? If you were Daredevil from the movie Daredevil 2003, Mm -hmm. would you enjoy sleeping in a stone sarcophagus filled with water? No, I reckon I'd probably suffer through all the, you know, all the the screams and explosions of of big time New York City late at night. Yeah. Just so I could spread out on a big bed, I reckon. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Or you could buy a bigger sarcophagus. Yeah, or you buy like you know you could buy you could buy like an above ground pool. Yeah, yeah. And just flip it upside down, and <laughs> drop it over the top of your bed. <laughs> the guy'd be like, the guy'd be delivering it and be like, "So you live in this apartment? Where are you going to put this above ground pool?" And I'd be like, "Never you mind, mate. Don't ever worry about it. Yeah, yeah. Get out of here. I'm a lawyer. Yeah, that's right. I'll sue yeah, but you. I'll sue you, mate. Don't ask any questions. That's right. I'm a big time lawyer. Yeah. So if you're a Dracula, yeah. I mean, if, look, to be fair, if I was a Dracula, above ground pool, I'd yeah. sleep in a bed. Yeah, right. Well, you're sleeping in a. Weird it depends. I think it depends on the on the particular Dracula. Yeah, like some Draculas, they have to sleep in a in a coffin that is filled with the dirt of their home country. That is true, actually. Mm. But does it have to be a does it have to be a coffin though? Could it just be a bed full a of bin. dirt? Could it be a, a <laughs> garbage bin? A, wheel, a wheelie bin. <laughs> Could be a wheelie bin full no, of I'm dirt. I'm thinking about those, those old school like tin trash cans, like Austin oh, the Grouch. Just you, the grouch. you tuck your legs right. up and you crouch in it. No, I like put the, the lid on yeah, top. Okay, well, I mean, it is good, but I like the idea of a wheelie bin because sometimes you would wake up and the, 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 or I guess with either, but the truck is, the truck with a big claw on is picking you up. <laughs> at the, somebody's put you out to the curb and the truck is. <laughs> Oh, yeah. that's fun. Mm. Yeah. 
Here he yes. comes. Here he bloody comes. Yeah. Now, he makes an appearance in Die Hard 2, doesn't he? Inexplicably. Oh, because he's maybe on vacation or something? Yeah. Right. Put some bloody shoes on, mate. If I was Brewster for... What? That's a very dirty singlet. Yeah, right. How'd that happen? Probably from all the die-harding he's doing. Yeah, all the die-harding. Oh, it's gone, yeah. it's, gone to a, it's gone to a fetching olive green. A fetching? It's very fetching. Or gross. Fetching and gross. Fetchingly gross. Fetching and gross. Maybe yeah. they should have called this fetchingly gross. Yeah. <laughs> fetchingly cool. gross with a vengeance. Nice. Fetchingly gross 4.0. <laughs> <laughs> fetchingly gross are my sons in this one this time. Live free or live fetchingly <laughs> gross. <laughs> And then they could tie. They could get us like for live free, live free or fetchingly gross. They could get a like a big time sponsor. I reckon like a fashion sponsor. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I didn't see him. Like I feel like there was like a transition of singlets that we didn't notice. Yeah, I think it was just climbing to a vent. Yeah, I mean, that's the not vent, the be gross good. vent. Because if you do have any kind of air conditioning or cooling system or heating system, probably filled with human skin. Yeah, you need to like you need to get that cleaned every season, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. so you know. There you bloody go. Mm. Now, look, Mason, we haven't, as of yet, go on. talked about Bruce Willis's hair. His beautiful widow's peak. This is his best hair. I agree. And it's not like, it's not his full head of hair, obviously. Mm. Yeah. But I think it's just a fantastic Unless look. it is. How, like, what, if you go back, I think it's filled in a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to look up young Bruce Willis. Yeah. This is before uh, Propretia, so he couldn't take it. And maintain yeah, yeah. his youthful locks. He had his millions of dollars, but he didn't have a uh, a, a handy medication. Yeah. He did. Um, but now he looks great with his shape. I agree. He looks and surly. Good. Great and surly. Great and surly, and rough as a rough as a Brillo pad. Rough as his guts. face. Yeah. What do you got here? Rough as a. Are you looking up slightly younger Bruce Willis? I've, I've looked up young Bruce Willis. <laughs> slightly younger than Die Hard Bruce Willis. Mm. Mm. Oh, you're maybe a little fuller. Yeah. Not by much. Okay, right. Yeah, that's yeah. But that's when about it's longer this era. On, when it's longer on top, I reckon that's yeah. Die Hard too. That picture yeah, you've probably, looked at. Yeah. yeah, you can you can cover it a bit more if it's a bit longer. Mm. But yeah, this look this one looks very modern. That's Twelve Monkeys, I want to say. Yeah, right. It's looking good there. Yeah, tell you what, I like that one. What I like is there's 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 acceptable options. That's true. You know, if you're if you if you're thinning a bit, there's a way there's ways around it. You know. Yep, that's right. Or, or put on a toupee. Just put on a big toupee. <laughs> to be fair, like I know there's a lot of stigmas around like toupees and that. Mm-hmm. They're pretty good these days. Yeah. You go and yet they, you know, they do that. You're thing. wearing one right I'm now. Sh- Mason. <laughs> they shave like the top of your head, yeah. allegedly, apparently, <laughs> and then they like glue it down. Yeah. And it's like it's like a mesh, so you can like barely tell. It's mm. really impressive. That's right. Yeah. And I think that's great. This is fun. These men screaming at each other. Agreed. Oh man, everybody's getting the die hard on. <laughs> oh, that was not unnecessarily wrong. This is the blank this is the blank bit, I believe. Because he's under the table. This is when it, Oh right, right, right. This is when it happened. Yeah. Oh, that's just fun. He's a good cop, isn't he? Mm, I don't know if he is. Yeah. Mm. Oh no, he's just confirmed that he's not a good cop. I oh, know. <laughs> <laughs> just shoot a little bit ahead, I would. Yeah, yeah I reckon that's But then again, like maybe they're using a realistic amount of bullets. Yeah, where you do, oh, look at his like. He's like, now where are you gonna go? Mm. What are you, you're an idiot. He's got a gun. Could you flip the table with your feet? You reckon? Yeah. Oh, my German, my bratwurst. <laughs> you shot me in my big bratwurst. <laughs> now that's not how the sausage is made. Yeah. It's how it's obliterated. But it was. It is. It's really big though. That's how you managed to shoot it. It wasn't just pure chance that it's you shot right. it. <laughs> You could have been firing a significantly a gun with significantly smaller caliber bullets. You still want to hit my big bratwurst. <laughs> what a way to go! At least everybody knows about it, though. That's right. <laughs> I don't want an autopsy. <laughs> I don't want one. <laughs> oh, these German accents are really good. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. I reckon one day when we finally meet a German person, we'll, we'll be able to wow them with these accents. I think so. I can't yeah. wait, quite frankly. Hello! Hello, how are you going? Welcome! I'm also from uh, Frankfurt. Yep. That's where you're from, That's are you? Right. Mm, I'm from yeah. a, actually, I'm from a smaller region outside of Frankfurt. It wasn't worth me bringing up. I didn't think you'd know it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Little Frankfurt. Little Frankfurt, they call it. It's not what they call me, though. What do they call you? Big, big bratwurst. <laughs> Oh, wow. Is that you doing that? I don't know. I don't know anymore. <laughs> I don't know. Why wouldn't they just kill him earlier? Because they, they wanted to do it. They wanted to do this silently. Ah. Yeah. Nice. 
good. Uh, that's like a. I, I love the look of those '80s cop cars. I yeah, think they're really cool. Very the the Blues Brothers, the Bluesmobile. You ain't wrong, mate. You ain't bloody wrong. Mm. You a Blues Brothers fan? Yes. What do you like about it? The Blues Brothers. That's what I like about. Well, the oh, they do. look at this guy. Oh, here we Walter go. Walter Peck. Yeah, that's makes right. a reappearance. This sniveling sack of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Real life normal man. That's right. Uh, Very we, nice. Get, we, got yelled at in the streets. Yeah. I mean, this was the era that people were throwing Twinkies at people. Why did he take this role after Ghostbusters? After after the absolute abuse that he received? Oh, because this is another like S- another terrible snivel. He's also bloke. in the sequel to this. Yeah, maybe he loves it. He might love it. Maybe he's just a very... It's his fetish. I reckon he's probably a cool dude. Yeah. And he's like, I love playing a sniveling guy because that's, that's... Well, he didn't initially, like, fam- when we talked about Ghostbusters in Caravan and Garbage, yeah, yeah. famously he was, like, angry at the director because he was like, oh, a tour bus full of people shouted dickless at me. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's good fun. It is fun. I like... You know what I also like? Apparently this is a deliberate choice, as I guess most things in movies are. Yeah. He's not in tactical gear. He's a gentleman. Mm, he's got a that's true. Yeah, yeah. And, and besides, he knows that when he gets hurled off the building up later, that's not going to save him. So. Nah, yeah. you need some padding in the butt. Do a big, <laughs> do a big bounce, and he's yeah, probably not. Right. He, doesn't, he doesn't got that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. That was also in the truck, an ambulance <laughs> and a big padded butt. You forgot to put it on. Yeah, you forgot to put or it on. Or he didn't want us. He didn't want to like waddle into Nakatomi yeah, Club. Yeah, It's hard be, to yeah. threaten yeah. the CEO the when big, you've got a big inflatable <laughs> butt. <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't have forgotten about it, I think. It's probably just, you know, McLean's various machinations. They they got in the way of him putting on the padded bus. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I do want to talk about the uh, the fall when we get to it as okay, well. Okay, right. There's some, there's some fun stuff involved. Do these guys have... So he knows all their names, isn't he? Because I was going to say, they don't have IDs. He was writing their names He's down. writing their names arm. down, yeah. Yeah. Which oh, I was going to say, which is the movie, but I do know the movie. Are they all markers? No, they're dead. Oh, they're C4 dead yeah. yeah. I'm like, he's got a bunch of red markers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Maybe that's what he was using earlier. He might have been, yeah. yeah. So it's the it's um it's the movie, what is it? Uh Fifth Element where he never gets to smoke a cigarette. Doesn't oh, it? You know, he's right. got and the ones with like the long filter and they've got like three drags on the end or whatever. Yeah, right, right, right. Oh yeah, okay, because it's the future. It's the future. It's, it's also Hudson Hawk where he never gets to drink a cup of coffee, I think. Oh mate, he's probably got a bloody headache, am I right? He just wants mm-hmm. his morning brew. That's right. <laughs> Is, uh, is Hudson Hawk, like, it's considered, like, somewhat of a cult classic now, but big bomb, yeah. right? Yeah, big bomb at the time. I don't think I've seen it, to be honest. I've s- I s- I'm sure I saw it on, like, Channel 10 yeah. at one point, but I should go back and rewatch that. You know what's interesting about Bruce Willis also? Like, after this, yes. and I saw an interview again where he's like, oh, look, I don't want to be, like, the action guy. I'm going to choose my roles very carefully. But he oh. mostly did, like, a s- slew of action movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they were like, do you Not want, exclusively, do you want like, $5 million again? Yeah. And, and he like, did, like, yeah. Death Becomes Her and things yeah, like that, true. where, like, you know, he's, he's got a fair bit of range. Yeah. And then it's interesting because then when he got to, like, The Sixth Sense, uh-huh. like, he'd so firmly been established as an action star yes. that it was really strange that he did a different thing at that yeah, point because yeah, he'd just yeah. been doing it for 10 years or whatever. I was going to watch Hudson Hawk, but it's four bucks to rent it. Four so. bucks? Four bucks. Why don't, you, why don't you rent the Die Hard video game while you're down there renting it, Mason? Maybe I will. I could I could buy it for $13. Could you? Or I could go to JB Hi-Fi and probably get it for $2. All right, then. Mm-hmm. I was at JB Hi-Fi today, Mason. What were you getting? Nothing. Presents for me? None of your business, Mason. Oh, so definitely presents for me. No, none of your business because I don't want to share any of my personal life with you. And it was mm. definitely not n- nothing for you because oh. I got you that... James Bond calendar. And by that, I mean you bought the James Bond calendar. <laughs> but right. I let you put it up in our podcast. Oh, you've got to get us another calendar. That's you true. do. You absolutely do. Yeah. A calendar that we don't flip. We've never just flipped <laughs> it. We don't even know what's in there. It is out of its plastic, but... Uh, but beyond that? Don't know. We just don't know. Mm. We absolutely just don't know. This guy died in like early 40s, apparently. I'm not oh. sure of what, but yeah. He passed away early. He was the detonators. Mm. So this is the bit where he just starts shooting hostages, which to be fair... He probably should have just done it straight up. Just shot them all together yeah. out of the way, yeah, I guess so. So is he a hacker or a safe cracker? Both. Both. He's got, Questions got skills. answered. James. Hudson Hawk, JB, what do you got? Fifteen ninety eight. That's too much. That's more than buy, but you get the convenience of uh, of, of digital, of, uh, of, of physical media. Well, you love a physical media, don't do. you? Or I can get a, bl- a double Blu-ray, Hudson Hawk Last Action Hero. A double tw- Blu-ray? Double Blu-ray, twenty four ninety nine. Wow. That's right. So what was the second one? And I should, get for my, I should get for my mum a Michael Bublé double <laughs> Blu-ray. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Mums love the Michael 
Boom they were big fans. Doom Blade. What Blu-ray. was what was the second one? Sorry, Last Action Hero. Yeah, yeah no, 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 no. Sorry. I mean, I know they're kind of ahead of their time in a lot of ways, yeah. and they poke fun at the yeah. genre, genre, mm. genre. Yeah. But no, no, I don't want those. No. I don't like double packs as is, mm. unless they're like the same movie, same yeah, franchise. Yeah. No, the same movie. I want the same movie twice. Ooh, it's available at my local JB Hi-Fi. Is it? Maybe I'll get it tomorrow. You're not going to get it. No, I'm not going to get it. You don't even want to watch it, really. Not really, no. You just want to have the I option. just watch some clips on YouTube is yeah. what I'll do. Go to movieclips.com on YouTube or whatever. Mm. Yeah. It reminds me of a young Joseph Gordon-Levitt. What? Oh yeah, because of okay, so because of that then. nose they put on Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Looper. Yeah, that's right. The hardest transition of all time. Yeah, yeah, in yeah. In that movie, wasn't it? If there was, they there should have just been a in that montage where he becomes Bruce Willis. There should have just been a scene where he gets wheeled into a plastic surgeon's office. I agree. And they they just like, and they, now we're going to give you the Bruce Willis surgery. Yeah. Make me look like Bruce Willis. Mm. God, that's it. so. For those people who don't know, if you haven't seen Lothar, this surgery's given me so much bruising around my neck <laughs> and forehead. Do you have any eyes for my bruises? Yeah. Um, yeah. He. Um, so Joseph Gordon-Levitt is a young Bruce Willis, and there's a scene where it goes through his life, yeah. and there's a moment so where he has long hair, like he has long black hair, and then there's a moment where you see like the back of his head, and, and it pulls around, and it's just uh, old Bruce, old Bruce Willis. Willis with like a widow's peak and like a long black hair, yeah. and it's just atrocious. <laughs> Which means in that character's life, there was a period of probably a decade or more. Where he should have shaved his head? Yeah, where he had a widow's peak and the long hair. Oh, and all yeah. his friends were like, Come on, mate. Hey, man, have you considered a new hairstyle? No, I want about that. Oh, it's this guy. Yeah. The guy from The Breakfast Club. The guy from The Breakfast Club and also The Breakfast Club parody, Not Another Teen Movie. That's right, he's he in that too. does pretty much the same role. I think he passed away. He did pass away, yeah. Yeah, he's great. Yeah. Um, so and another guy also showed up on the scene. I didn't I didn't pay any attention to him. He could have been anybody. Well, it's interesting because I he's part of the... Is he one of the FBI? No, he's not the FBI, is he? But he's a police officer. So I was watching a Siskel and Ebert review and I think oh, yeah. it was Roger Ebert that was like... He gave it two stars. This was oh, at Roger, the time. Roger Ebert? Did Roger did Ebert did it. And he said... Two stars out of four? Yeah, he what do they said... Give, do they give four or five, those guys? I can't remember. I think it's four. So I think it's 100. So, okay, it's, so right. it's even lower. That's very it? low, That's actually, quite low. Yeah. And he said that he couldn't believe that the other police officers were so incompetent. Okay. He was like, I cannot get past that. For the entire movie, I couldn't get past it. And I'm thinking, like, have you met some cops? <laughs> okay, like, for example, I know, like, I know a few in my real life. One of them, or you who you know, I, I moved up north with. Who became? He was a teacher who became a police officer. All right. He's the kind of guy you'd want to show up. Like he's yeah, right. He's very like affable. He's helpful. He's nice. He's it, pleasant to be with. He's he, fit. The character of John McClane was based on him. Yeah, that's if right. I remember correctly. And then I know another guy who you also know mm-hmm. who's a fucking wingnut. And so it's just like, <laughs> like all professions, yeah. it's a mixed bag. It sure is. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I completely believe... Sometimes the, Mac, the mixed bag contains C4 and death notice. <laughs> That's right. So I, I don't understand why this is the point of contention for him yeah. where he's like, nah, I couldn't get past that. Maybe it was a certain... Like, maybe it was in the 80s. It's like, nah, New York cops. Was this set in New York? Is this New York? No, it's not. Well, he's this from is, New York. This is LA, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Because that guy kissed him and he's like, oh, like Holly Weird. Only in bloody this, LA. Yeah, this is bloody Holly You'd weird, never get away it? with this in New York in the 70s when I did my first movie. Mm. I was Frank Sinatra. That's right. Um, so, yeah. So, and also, like in that interview, Gene Siskel was like, yeah, but like there's dumb cops in like Dirty Harry. Yeah, and he's like, right. nah, not like this. <laughs> so, he did, but you know, sometimes you just. You know, you might get up. You know, you can have a particular opinion on a movie and whatever. Mm. Apparently, it wasn't like at the time. You know what? I'm gonna say Siskel and Ebert. They were allowed to have some opinions on movies from time to time. Is that time. what you think? I'll give them a pass on on those movies. I I'm reckon. not gonna give them a pass. I'm gonna give them two stars, Whoa. which I don't know is good or bad. I could. I think no, average. Yeah. Yeah. But um. Ah, oh, this guy's figured it out. Maybe he's, he's, he's figuring, figuring out this it. fella. Yeah, that's good. I wish I figured it out. You know what I mean? Just in everything. Life. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Mm. This guy, Walter Peck, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's having a good time of it. Yeah, I forgot completely forgot this guy was in it. Yeah. Is he in any sequels? Or like maybe he's got some kids in a well, sequel? Well, he's in that s- other thing that I said, that unofficial sequel. Oh, yeah, sequel. yeah the, the, the commercial. I can actually look that up if you want. Please. And then sh- uh, watch, watch it yourself. Don't show me. All right. Die Hard. I think it's a battery commercial. Because I think he has like a detonator or something and they're like, the batteries don't work. Mm. Oh, 
1080p. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, is it? Bruce Willis is back and uh, as the tough John McClane, a new action-packed commercial for diehard batteries. Oh, Bruce nice. Willis, uh, yeah, well, there you go. And he's also in an ad. He's the spokesman for some sort of foreign uh, energy drink of some time. It's a Russian energy drink or oh, something. Oh, they all are, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so Argyle is back as well as Theo. Oh, huh. so, yeah. There you go. There you go. Um... Did we ever talk about you know how Pierce Brosnan? I am D. I am D. B. Rating seven point three for this commercial. I've seen it. Wow. I mean, it's not even a seven point three for a commercial. And it's true. You can rate commercials. Apparently. There you go. I was going to say, um, you know, Pierce Brosnan was in that Visa commercial where the the I think he's a tuk tuk driver or something. No, he gets in with a tuk tuk driver. Yeah. Like, and, and that and guy's like, it's Mister Bond, Bond or whatever. And then Daniel Craig did one. He's in a he's in a Heineken ad. Which yes, is the same where he's principle. on a boat or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Is yeah, that yeah. or is that a different Heineken ad? Uh, there's a Heineken. No, there's a Heineken ad. There's where Heineken he, one where he, he gets is into Bond. a cab. He gets into a cab. Yeah. And the driver's like, "Oh, it's Mr. Bond." Oh, it's Mr. Bond. Yeah. They said to him. Yeah. And he's like, "I'm not bloody James Bond. I'm bloody, bloody James. I'm sick of bloody James Bond. Don't ever talk to me about sick James. Of, I'm Bond. sick of James. I'm sick, sick of James of Bond. Yeah. I'm sick of it. I'm sick drive of us you. into that river. Yeah. I'm sick of this. <laughs> Kill us both. Yes, both me and you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what you've got to live for. You're coming with me. I need someone in the afterlife. To, to drop me around. It's you. <laughs> That's how I believe in. I believe in the Egyptian afterlife and when you die, you, all your servants serve you and serve you in the heaven. And it's you. You get it, get it here. You're going to be there. I'm Daniel Craig. I'm going to be a pharaoh in the afterlife and you're going to drive me around on a chariot. Your taxi cab's going to turn into a chariot in the afterlife. I'm pretty confident about this, I reckon. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, different things, isn't he? Yeah, maybe. I mean, this movie and something movie else. Maybe Diane, probably, yeah. yeah. Here we bloody go. And then the FBI come in, don't they? Mm. James, this is a little how the, how the bratwurst is made. Can you turn the air conditioning off? Get out of my business, Mason. How about <laughs> that? I'm not sitting directly under the air con, so, I, air, so I'm enjoying yeah. the cool of the air You con. would. It wasn't even on cooling. It was just on fan. Wow. Mason. Um, well, I, James, I've got enough fans, so... Yeah, bloody, 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 fanny, a, fanny, a bloody self, mate. I think I am. Fanny, a bloody self. I am very much so, yeah. You should like yourself. That's important, that's actually. Important, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Give you, if you're out there, give yourself a bloody break, mate. That's what RuPaul says. She says, uh, something about if you love, you got to love yourself before you can love somebody else. And also, I love fracking. That's what she says. She Whoa! Yeah, they should have left out the fracking nah, thing, I No, she says it at the end of every episode now. She's like... And, and I love fracking. Yeah, I, 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 fracking happens on my ranch. I've, I've, I've licensed it out for fracking. I'm destroying the world with it. We call it slut dropping the earth. We fucking love it here. <laughs> <laughs> That's good stuff. <laughs> Thank you. I have seen the show. Yeah. Gets a bit repetitive, if I'm honest. I feel mm. like it needs to do more. Yeah. I, actually, because I watched some of the Australian... Fracking? fracking, exactly. I watched some of the Australian version. Oh, and which, it was, oh I'd love a crunch bar It was right really now. hectic in like a bad way. Like yeah, it felt right. like a parody of oh, right, okay. RuPaul. So I yeah. don't know. Maybe I just need to get to some of the later seasons. Mm. Anyway. God, I love a... Tell you what, I love I love a concession stand. Mm. Oh, just a concession stand in a just in a corporate offices. Oh my god! What do you? What would you? I'd get? walk in there and I'd get a. Oh my god! I get the peanut. I get some M and M's. You know what I'll say this crunch bar should be free, even if I don't work there. Yeah, sure. Okay, great. But like, you come here, you know, mm. to record things. Yeah. You know, mm. and you get a free drink. And I've been, I've <laughs> drunk it, and I've been for the last ninety minutes. I've been doing the thing where I've got, I'm holding it between. <laughs> do you want another one? No, that's quite alright. Thank you. Yeah. But like, I think that's like, you know, that's a, I always find James, it. James, orange, you glad I didn't ask for another one? I think you An misspoke then. Orange, you glad. Oh yeah. Aren't you glad? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we, use logistical... the, we use the Queen's English in this <laughs> podcast, Mason. Oh, he's loving that crunch bar. He's... Oh, well, crunch bar's thicker back in the day. Looks like a very thick crunch bar. This reminds me of, um, I think it was, I was going to say Kinder Surprise, it wasn't. It was the Cadbury Cream Egg. Yeah, yeah, where yeah. Where they went... Oh, the new, people are like the new Cadbury cream eggs are smaller. Also, they're not good, I don't think. But anyway, whatever. I, whatever. You can't look. You you are in no position to judge because you do not destroy your body with awful stuff <laughs> every day. I remember one one time. So I think somebody on Twitter asked you, "How about this this caramel milk? Is it good?" And you're like, "Nah, it's no good." And I'm like, "How dare you, sir?" Caramel milk. Caramel milk. What's the, caramel? It's the, it's the caramelized white chocolate. I don't drink chocolate milk. I'm not a baby. No, it's not a milk. It's a <laughs> bar. It's a chocolate bar. Oh no. Nah, and you were like, it's no good. And I'm like, you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> well, enjoy your free drink. Thank you. I did. 
Are orange you glad you're having a free drink? Oh, sorry, I misspoke. <laughs> you did misspeak. <laughs> anyway, you were going to ask a question about uh, free chocolates? Yeah, so basically there was a crunch bar. Not mm. crunch bar. It was a... Uh, those Cadbury cream eggs. Oh, yeah. And people were like, these are smaller. And on Twitter, I think it was on Twitter or the social media, they were like, no, nah, they're not smaller. Uh -huh. You're just misremembering because when you last had one, you were probably a kid. Yeah, yeah. And then, yeah. And then someone else was like, I have one of the old ones here. And it was like 30% <laughs> smaller. Wow. They just tried to like gaslight everybody to wow. be like, no, you misremember actually. Mm. You don't even know. And they'd cost more too. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's the same with like, I remember when they Cadbury shrunk the... The chocolate bar size, they made them thinner. And they're like, oh, yeah. we asked what people wanted, and they said they wanted less chocolate for the same money. They probably shrank the Yowies too. I bet Yowies are smaller these days. What are Yowies again? Yowies were, those? Um, I think they're just like a Cadbury chocolate bar, but they have like a like a picture of some sort of mystical animal on them. Right, or a real animal. I don't know. Are they little one like are they little like a Freddo? I think they're maybe like even the rectangular ones, but they've got a thing drawn on them. Or like embossed in them. Oh yeah, I remember these Yowies. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. still make these. Yeah, they're like this, they're they, like these bizos, those ones. You know, no, I'm thinking of something. Oh, I'm thinking about Cadbury used to do a thing where you could get like a pack of. Oh, six. we're in that we're in that section of the podcast. We're just talking we about just say anything. ignoring them because otherwise it's just oh, this action's pretty good. Yeah, but they they used to do a thing where you could get like six rectangular squares. Yeah, sort of in a pack, and it was like this big. Oh, I know exactly what you're talking about. And they were like, and it was like a long pack. They had different personalities It wasn't ones that you'd break. They were just individual. I know what you mean. They're yeah, individual and they, rectangles. And they would have animals on them. I think like, you know, like Australian. I like think they were Australian animals, yeah. yeah. I'm going to look that anyway. up. Australian animal mm. chocolate. Yeah. Oh, that's fun, Mason. Yeah. Yeah, they're all like, yeah, I found them. They're these ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. The yeah. Yowie's a fictional animal, you dingus. Who are you talking to? You. Oh, I don't think that were real. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> but the ones that we looked at mm. just then, like, were real. Yes. Oh, here comes, buddy. Here comes the bloody LAPD, mate. Here we bloody go. Here we bloody go. Oh, that's dangerous. Yeah. That's dangerous stuff. They should have put down a ramp. Yeah. Did they know that the LAPD was going to bring in the... This guy loves his sporting references. Yeah, he loves his job, too. It's interesting because he's a man, and I never thought a person like this could exist, who's a nerd and he knows things about computers, but he also follows sport. No, you can only like one of those two things. This obviously must be a character written specifically for this movie, right? Yeah, yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Here we bloody go. Here you we know, go. I was under the impression... Oh, yeah. ...that he... that, that McLean... Wrecked his shoot, wrecked his feet up earlier. Way earlier than this. So was this. I, yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's because unless, this unless is this a is this a modified for TV version we have here? Oh, maybe it is. Yeah. Well, we are watching it off free to air television and of the commercial breaks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If yours doesn't line up, it's because of the Australian commercial, commercial break. Breaks, it's mostly yeah. for chocolate. Yeah. And uh, wigs. So that's why we've been talking about that. That's a matte painting yeah. thing. What's Apparently, quite sorry? recently on HBO Max, a the the censored for TV version of of um, Birds of Prey was put on. The was movie, yeah, the was, new movie, yeah, was not... uploaded to HBO Max. Oh, really? So people are switching it on. It's just like it's real, like they're you know, instead of somebody it, people giving the finger, it's just like a raised fist. They've oh, just God. awkwardly edited out. At one point, Rosie Perez wears a T-shirt that says, "I shaved my balls for this," and so they've <laughs> they've they've just awkwardly like what does it say? Out, they've blurred out my balls. So it says, "I shaved yeah. my." No, it just says, "I've sh I shaved for this." Yeah, that's fun. Even weirder, it? if anything. That's much weirder. That's much weirder, right? <laughs> oh! Uh -oh. It should have made a C4 joke. Mm. Or it could have been like, uh, king to C4. Care oh. for some computer chess something. Was somebody playing computer chess? No, but he threw a computer monitor down. Oh. I wouldn't have said, oh shit, down right. the... I would have already been moving at that okay. point. Yeah. I, I would have said... Um, I think you should monitor this explosion. Oh, that's good. I would have said, I think you should computer monitor this explosion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, what happened there is like, you gave me a good reaction to the first thing and I thought I'd elaborate. You build on, on it. I, but I it made it worse, I think. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, I don't think that was worse. Yeah. I think they were both not good. I, th <laughs> I would have said, uh, I would have said, uh, I think, I think, uh, uh, buildings not exploding isn't very PC. Whoa. And then the building would have exploded. And they would have said, what do you mean it's the 80s? Is yeah, that a thing? Yeah, and I would have said, um, I would have said... Um, There's not this weird culture war going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I would have said, um, um, hope you're wearing your Macintosh, which is a type, of, a, like type a of raincoat. raincoat yeah. But in this instance, 
I'm imagining a Macintosh that is explosion proof. Yeah. Because the how Mac, big do you think this drop throw- is? <laughs> like you got the time to say all these things. Yeah, I've got. <laughs> I'm saying it's all of them 40 as well. Yeah. <laughs> James, I guess. I'm 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 riffing, James. I've pre-written some, and then then I'm wait. Then I'm seeing how the reactions of the crowd is get going. off the radio. <laughs> I'm seeing what the reactions of the crowd is, and then I'm then I'm doing some riffs. Oh, okay, and yeah, by, yeah. Ideally, by the by the time the explosion has occurred. I've got a solid couple of minutes. And yeah, I'm like, totally. I'm, and the next time I blow up a building, yep. I've just got the, the just all killer. you got all the A game. Yeah. All the A game. And people are like, this guy's good. He's yeah. a pro, this guy. Do you think that's why um, John McClane gets less funny in the later movies? Because he's not working on his improv skills. I think that's probably right. Yeah. 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 He's just got, like, presumably, like, he's, he's also doing this stuff off air and he's just kind of yeah, like, yeah, yeah. he's just got the gold, but it's kind of hack at this point. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Yeah, yeah. There is a scene I remember seeing in the, in the newest one mm. where he's in Russia and yeah. he's looking for Jai Courtney, his son, who's an international whatever the fuck. Yeah. And, <laughs> um, an international American. An international American. Oh, I do like Jai, Cart- Jai Courtney. I like him yeah. a lot. But um, he's... So, and there's a bit where he's like involved in like a chase down the streets of Russia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, I'm not even supposed to be here. I'm on vacation. And it's like. Is that a line you got from Clerks? Yeah, but it's like. You, did Kevin Smith maybe sell he did. that line? Yeah, we should talk about that as well. But I'm like, you're not on vacation. Mm. You're here to get your son. Yeah. Because he's an international whatever the fuck. And you're yeah. here to rescue him from Russian KGB or whatever that yeah, movie's about. That's right. So just you know the Russian KB, KGB, the worst KGB of the world. Do you all. think they are? Yeah, the sweet Swedish KGB. Fine, fine, nice guys. Simple, fun men. Mm. Mm. Here we go. This guy's going to broker yeah, a deal yeah, yeah. to get shot in the head. Mm. Yeah, I love it. Mm. I'd say um, this is a this will be a real sound blaster. Oh, which right. was a brand of sound card, which would have been fairly common at this in this, at this era. era. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Or maybe just maybe just think... maybe just being introduced, so people would be like, "Oh, like okay." Like might, somebody might have to lean into somebody else and be like, "What's he mean?" And the other person would be like, "Oh, that's a brand of sound card." Okay, because they're computer. German, so they're like, "Yeah, what do you mean?" Yeah, yeah, Ask yeah, the yeah. hacker; he'd know. He's got references. Yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah. understand that, I reckon. Mm, yeah, yeah. I reckon the hacker would be a good guy to bounce ideas off actually yeah, yeah, over yeah, the yeah. radio. Yeah, I'm like, I'd be like, hey, I'm about to kick this computer monitor filled with C4 down a shaft. Can I just run some things by yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. No, don't clear the floor. I, just, uh, <laughs> I, just, I was just thinking about saying, I could say conceivably, um, <laughs> now that's what I call a real maniac mansion. Okay. Because of the Lucasfilm games. Oh, no, I know. I'm familiar with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah that's good. And they, that's weird stuff happens in that. So. I mean, this isn't a mansion per se, though, is it? Yeah, I know, but people would understand because it's a luxurious building of a sort. Yeah, know? okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, but, yeah. like, I didn't even think that got a German release. And if they did, it was called Maniac Dust, Bratwurst. Dust, yeah, Maniac Bratwurst. <laughs> Just Dust <explain>. Maniac Bratwurst. <laughs> The silliest rat worst there is. <laughs> crazy crazy sausage. <laughs> crazy sausage. Yeah, it got reinterpreted back. Into, as crazy sausage, into, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. As the crazy sausage. And then then the American version of crazy sausage had to become burger time. And, then, <laughs> and thus the legend was born. That's right, exactly. It's full uh, circle. Yeah. Uh, he's so smarmy on coke. What else has this guy been in? Because he's very good. Yeah. Oh, so some of this building when it explodes is a I'm going to Google... Model. Die Hard Coke Guy. And I'm going to see what comes up. <laughs> Die Hard Coke Guy Supplier. <laughs> Die Hard Coke Guy, is 80s Coke better than modern day Coke? Mm. And that's a great question. What do we got? Uh, if you'd Google Die Hard Coke Guy, it comes up. Harry Ellis. Uh, the, the, the character's name is Harry Ellis. Mm-hmm. Um, You're a Cokehead, Harry. Yeah. You're a massive Cokehead. I'm a what? <laughs> I'm a what? <laughs> I'm a what? <laughs> I'm an eagle. <laughs> I'm an invincible eagle. Yes. What's he been in, Mason? Ah. Uh, Die hard too? I don't think so. I think he dies. <laughs> I think he dies in this. I think he dies hard. Oh, oh, look, he's got hair on his back. That's great. That's great. Wouldn't see that wouldn't these days. Wouldn't see that bloody these. He wouldn't yeah. even give Wolverine hair on his back these it's days. True. Or maybe maybe MCU Wolverine will have hair on his back. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, okay. How's he looking modern day? This is pretty modern day. He looks pretty. Looks like a modern. That's him today. Uh, uh, let's see. He looks fucking. Doesn't say. What, what's his uh, name? His uh, name is Harter Bochner. B o c h n e r. B b o c h. Canadian. Oh, he's Canadian. Oh, he's in Breaking Away. Okay. He's sixty-five years old. Yeah. Oh, Harter Bochner. 
He is a voice in both Mask of the Phantasm and Batman the Animated Series. Oh, very. Who is he playing that? Don't know. This is a Maybe good, the Grey Ghost. He's a good is looking man. Now, the Grey Ghost, wasn't it? Um, Mark Hamill? No, because that was the TV show, right? Yeah. That was the TV show that Batman watched growing up. Oh, yeah, but didn't he turn out to be real? Yeah, and didn't it, wasn't, he, wasn't he Adam West, though? Oh, he was probably Adam West. Yes. I don't know anything. Mm. Let me check. Okay. Art Bochner. He's looking good, though. He's, you know, Looks terrific. Google Images has shown him a picture in a pair of glasses. He's looking great. I agree. I'm happy to concede. Art Bochner, so he's a Canadian, blah, blah, blah. He's in Arthur the, Reeves. Yeah, so, yeah, no idea who that is. No flippin' idea, Mason. <laughs> well, I'm glad he's getting work. Yeah, same. Mm. Good for him. Like, what a role that you, like, remember. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, he's not in it that much, but people remember okay. this dude. Uh, Arthur Reeves is, is, is the corrupt city official in Mask of the Phantasm. Oh, he's yeah. one, he was once an intern for Carl Beaumont. He later becomes involved with the Lestra's gang and is poisoned by the Joker, but it's not fatal. Thank and he's God. at the mental hospital at the end. Right, okay, yeah. not fatal. No. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. I've mm. seen Mask of the Phantasm. A lot of people consider it to be the best Die Hard movie. Yeah, it's true. Are we back to the movie? Very good. Yeah, we're back to the movie. Nice. Nice, good stuff. I like that. Mm. This guy. Yeah. He's got the good yeah, yeah, yeah. Coke guy. He's got a Tom Cruise vibe. He does, doesn't he? Yeah. But it's like a, the, it's the like a Jerry Maguire, Tom Cruise yeah, kind of vibe. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. Do you reckon, oh, do you reckon Tom Cruise has seen this? He would have, right? Tom Cruise just, is always like, I love movies. And they're like, what specific movies? And he's like, oh, look. Which, <laughs> good one. Well, I, you know. Good one. I'm at the cinema all the time. Yeah. I reckon I am. That's what I do. <laughs> I hang from the rooftops. <laughs> but I watch the audience because that's the real movie to me. That's right. Yeah. You're the star. That's right. I'm normal. <laughs> that's what I yell at them. That's right. <laughs> oh, boy. <sighs> Uh, good stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we bloody go. Mm -hmm. I would have got a Diet Coke. You couldn't get a Coke, no sugar in the 80s. And no, that's true. Well, we didn't see him die. Could have come back for a sequel. That's true. Yeah. Wait. Maybe, maybe just shot him a new Coke nostril. That's right. <laughs> you know? He, got, he gets shot in the head, but Bible style, the, the bullet is, bounces off his nose because of all the Coke <laughs> that's jammed up there. You're familiar with, I'm sure, in the 80s, there was the laws uh, in the US specifically and probably other places about cocaine as opposed to crack cocaine. Oh, well, you got bigger jail sentences. They're essentially the cocaine. same drug yeah. because they targeted specific communities. Whoa. I know a lot of people like the Reagan years, but <laughs> if I'm in not, not to get probably political, just because of Die Hard, seemed I reckon. bad. Yeah, <laughs> it seemed like a bad guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, but yeah. that's fine if you like him. You like bad guys? Oh, I maybe would have dropped the computer off the thing, and I would have said, "I don't think this is a Game Boy." Game Boy release date? Let's find I out. I reckon like nineteen eighty seven. I think you might have. I want to. I want to say eighty nine. Okay, but I right. don't know. But maybe I'm up on all the computer magazines. I'm very excited for the. Upcoming oh, you know the Game, Game Boy is coming. Boy. Yeah, yeah. And, okay. I, and, I, and I'm not lying because it's a joke, but also I'm not lying because the Game Boy. It's not a Game Boy. It's a, some sort of computer. Released in 89 oh, uh, and then in Europe in 1990. So the Germans wouldn't have known it. No, that's true. You know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. God, that an incredible battery life, that. But I guess it's because you couldn't see the screen. That's mostly true, yeah. yeah. I had an yeah. Atari Lynx, Mason. I remember. Too I've late in it. the day. Yeah. You've seen it? Yeah. You've seen my Atari Lynx cabinet? Yes, oh. that's right. You're a fan? And all the awards you've made yourself for best Atari Lynx player. Look, if there's one award I got, it's yeah. that I beat the Batman Returns video game on Atari Lynx. Mm. Can anybody else no. claim such a thing? No. Mm. All right. Well, it's true. Mm. It's absolutely true. Okay. Here's what's going on, Mason. Okay, I'm listening. We're in the midst of the movie... Ooh, is he dead? He looks pretty dead. Yeah. Like, but... that seems like there's a hole in his head. Yeah, but it could be the chair. Do you think he spilled... The, Could be a red chair. Do you think he spilled the ketchup from the, the American cheeseburger that they also gave him? They gave him a Coca-Cola <laughs> and an American cheeseburger. He got an American cheeseburger? A big-time American cheeseburger is what he got. That's yeah. awesome. I know, right? Pretty I good. Would, I would have got an American I'm cheeseburger. i thinking about getting an American cheeseburger after this. Where you go? Where you go? Where you, where you, where you got to go somewhere in a city for the American cheeseburger? You know, I would. There's what, There's a great place. Yeah. Uh, it's called American Cheeseburgers. It's called American Cheeseburger, but it's not open Monday nights. But it's open late many nights. Okay, great. Mm. So you're going to go get I'll one? I'll give him a plug. Butcher's Diner. You ever been there? I don't think Top I have. Burke Street. It's Top of Burke Street. Very, best burger in the city, in my opinion. In your opinion? Yeah. Well, your opinion means jack shit. I know. <laughs> I know. 
<laughs> but I leverage that because I actually get I, I get paid by other like oh, establishments. Okay, yeah, so I yeah. recommend something and people go, I'm not going to that. Not going to that? I'll go to the other one. And then yeah, I get yeah, paid, yeah. baby. Have I been to Butcher's Diner? Is that the one with the, like one of them is a tram car? No. Okay. You're thinking of Ollie's Trolley. Am I? <laughs> a business that's been out of business for like 35 years. No, I'm, not, I'm, th- no, I'm thinking of a different thing. Yeah. I, that is for sure. Have I been here? You might I have think been. I have been here. Ooh. Looks like a, so what kind of burgers am I expecting? Cheeseburger? Yeah, but like, what are they specifically doing? Are they making the burgers on site? Yeah, it's a butcher also. Wow. Yeah. This one is um some kind of egg. It's like a square burger and an, an egg. They've got an egg on it. <laughs> okay. Oh, That's bad. probably the square egg burger. <laughs> The Squeg the burger. burger. That's what they Thank call you. it. Thank yeah. you. We both hit it at the same yeah, time. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So yeah. this is where we find out. Is this the bit where we find out that he, uh, the reason that he's a uniform cop and he wants to just do. Oh, because he shot somebody. He shot a kid. Yeah, he shot a kid, yeah, yeah, a literal yeah. child. And yeah. then they just let him continue to be a police officer. That's cool. Which seems think. normal. Yeah, it's cool and normal. It seems totally yeah. normal. But he's, he feels bad about it, I guess. Mm. Yeah. I feel bad about it, I guess, he says. Yeah. These guys are mates. They are mates. That's what makes it interesting, you know? I wish I had a mate. Just you don't. one. No, that's right. Just one person I could call and just be like, we're feuding. I just want to do feuds. Oh, okay. You don't, right, right, right. Oh, I'm upset at you, but I'm not going to tell you why. Oh, that's cool. Maybe that's why I don't have mates. <laughs> Maybe because you did that a bunch of times and you loved it. That's your favorite thing to do. And then everybody's uh, walked away. They Craig David you. They walked away. Nobody's from Craig. The bad things in their life. Nobody's Craig Daviding me, Mason. Nah, that's right. I'm a podca- is he dead? Craig he looks David. like that, that guy. Looks like he's walking away. Oh, like Craig David. Look at him. Damn, that guy's Craig David in the hell out of that. Look at him. Yeah. Maybe he's a very good actor. You know what I mean? I mean, he is because mm. he did that. Like he wasn't dead in real life. That's true. I don't know. I think he's alive. I think mm. we're going to see him in the next Die Hard movie. Oh, do you think what happened there is Hans Gruber shot him or shot at him, yeah. didn't kill him, but this guy was such a good actor yep. and he was fueled by cocaine yep. that he burst a blood vessel in his head yep. non-lethally. Non-lethally. And then he decided he'd play dead until he's ah, maybe tossed yes, down yes, a garbage yes. chute or whatever and then he's just going to come to life. What's Robert Davi? Yeah, famous James Bond villain. That's true. And other things. So apparently Arnold Schwarzenegger watched this with Robert Davi because they are friends. Uh-huh, uh-huh, Maybe uh-huh. they he was in Commando as well. I don't think he was. They probably did something together. They probably yeah. He was probably in Red Heat also. I don't know. Yeah. But anyway, he was apparently annoyed because then when Robert Davi turned up, he thought he was going to be the, <laughs> like the main character. What? And he was like... <laughs> What? This is bullshit. Wait, this so did Robert stupid. Darby tell him in no, advance? No, no, he just said, I'm in this. But he plays like a heartless FBI agent or whatever, and Arnold spent the rest of the movie just making fun of Bruce Willis. This is the story. So Schwarzenegger thought... Like an that hour it, and 30 into this. That Bruce Willis was not going to be the main character, even though he'd been in almost every scene, <laughs> and that Robert Darby was going to show up and be the main character. Ollie just came in. Yep. Really? Gave you a sniff and then ran out. No. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes she comes in all enthusiastic. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, hey, Ollie, and I give her one pat. She's like, well, bye. Yeah. <laughs> what what me did that did that serve for you, Ollie? One pat. You just leave it again. This Madness. is a this is a fun moment. Oh, you get the two pret- of them to me. He mate. pretends he's from America. Yeah, America. I've got an American accent. Yeah. Um, from I heard I heard some some criticism of this as well. I was like, it's not even a good American accent. It's like, yeah, that's the point. <laughs> He's fucking an English guy pretending to be German doing an American accent. Yeah, you know what I mean. Mm. Here we bloody go. Yes. This guy's American. I'm American. Mm. I couldn't do that in a pinch. They're like, who are you? I'd be like, oh, I'm Australian. Fuck it. I can't do it. Sorry, I can't do it, I reckon. Um, uh, Mr. Sunday Movies, uh, yeah. don't kill me. Um, uh, wait, so in this instance, are you, you've you turned to terrorism? Yeah, sure. So you've turned to, so YouTube isn't working out, so you've turned to terrorism. Yeah, well, I'm doing both. I'm doing a Mr. Beast-style terrorism okay. diehard recreation. Right, right. And you're, okay, I see. And you've, you've turned to terror, and then, then a John McClane type has shown up. No, nah, hi, Bruce Willis, because i got Mr. Okay. Beast money. And for whatever reason, they're looking out for Australian terrorists. Yep. So you have to put on an American accent. Yep. But you're not going to bother. Nah. Okay, great. I'm just like, nah, I can't do this, I reckon. Nah, Mr. Sunday Movies. So the other guy, yes, his partner, he played yeah. Balrog in the Street Fighter movie. Oh. If you remember the Street Fighter movie. Of course, I'm watching the Street Fighter right now on my phone. The Street Fighter? I'm watching the Street Fighter. That's what I call it. <laughs> 
Is that the Legend of Chun Li, or are you watching the original one? Both, wow. picture in picture. Yeah, they yeah. they sync up beautifully. They do, don't they? To to that and um, somewhere over the rainbow. <laughs> Uh, oh, what it, no, it's Dark Side of the Moon, isn't it? It's it doesn't Side matter. Moon, people yeah. get it. Yeah, people get the thing that I'm trying to I'll say. I tell you what, man. Eighties movies, they just they just want to make you smoke cigarettes. You know what I mean? Yeah, There's yeah, something yeah. so cool and smooth about them. Mm. And uh, you probably saw that New Zealand really recently released. They're the going to ban smoking forever for everyone. If you were born after 2007, you can never buy legally a packet of cigarettes. Wow, they're phasing them out. How, what's that going to do to Australian tourists who just want to smoke? Oh, man, there? I didn't even think of that. Because yeah. I go over there, you know that, for like... You go uh, over there for, on smoking tours. I go tours. six months of the year. I do yeah. a New Zealand smoking tour. That's right. I visit the lo- the sets of Lord of the Rings and the locations and I just flick cigarette butts yeah, all over right. it. I go to Hobbiton and I just yeah, flick my yeah, cigarette yeah. butts into the <laughs> into all the doors. <laughs> Just put them out on all the all the ornate. You're smoking uh, all kinds boxes. of stuff. They call it, They call you Tom Bombadil over there. <laughs> Tom Bombadil. That's what they call me. Yeah, that's really good. Look out! Here comes Tom Bombadil. He sta- He stays here for six months. He's, yeah, he's, he's right, thorough. Yeah. He's very annoying. Yeah, yeah, he's an yeah. awful man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, nice. we up. Good. Good stuff. Oh, the story checks out. Yeah. He's smart though, isn't he? Mm. Christopher Willis. Yeah. Sorry, Walter Bruce Willis. Yeah, yeah. Did you ever see the movie The Kid? No. Where he's an old man or Bruce Willis age and then a kid. And now, then does it, this gun turn out to be empty? Yeah, he gives him a, yeah. But he, he just saw him loaded. Yeah. Maybe he put a fake bullet in it. Maybe he put a fake <laughs> bullet in it. <laughs> or does he take the, maybe he takes the firing I think he took it out, didn't he? No, oh, I'm did gonna, he? Well, I don't know. I gotta, I gotta, we gotta, we gotta find out. But I mean, it. If you're a terrorist, and James, one day, God willing, you will be. Yeah. For the, your Mr. Beast views or whatever. Correct. Um, if some he, he he would have seen Bruce Willis load the gun in front of him. Yeah. So let's like, find out what's going okay, on. Okay, let's here. find out what's going on. There's probably a a, a realist. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm from America. Right? Look how cool this dude is. Yeah, he's pretty cool. He doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, yeah. He's like, I don't give a fuck. That's I hate right. Kevin Smith. I'll tell anyone. Yeah, that's right. We should we we do have to talk about that. We'll talk I about guess it, we'll yeah. do it after the same. I'm trying to think of more. I'm trying just trying to think of more Lord of the Rings smoking puns. Okay, sure. Smaug. Yeah, that works, I guess. Yeah. Yep. It's a, it's a process, James. You've yeah. got to work your way through it. Um uh something about elevenses. But it's four twenties. Four twenties is it's easy to do it with weed, I think, then. Yeah. yeah. Okay, sure. Yeah. Um What are those things that Elijah, they're... would you pa- would you pass me a bong? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's very, yeah, good. Is that anything? Yeah, I think Okay, That's let's find out what's good. what's happening here. No bullets. There you, you sorry, go. So put the magazine in the gun. Nah, this, that's not a plot hole. You just misread. This I situation. think that is a plot hole. Oh, I would have shot. I reckon hearts. if I look up diehard plot holes right now, that'll be up towards the top. I reckon if you look up diehard plot holes now, yes. they'll say, "Did you know that late in the movie he cuts his feet? You thought it was earlier, but it's actually <laughs> it's right. actually about to happen." Yeah. In the movie Die Hard, mm. so you can also apparently see in this scene uh, the bit where he runs over the glass. He's wearing big rubber feet. Oh, that's an awful. That's an awful. Mm. You see that? That's a crazy injury. Did you see that? Yeah, he shot all his legs. His knee shot out and he flew through a fucking sheet of glass. My goodness. Incredible stunt. Loved it. Very good. Damn. I don't think desks are bulletproof. Apparently, it's also one of those things, you know, when like people hide behind cars. Yep. Don't do it. You'll get Mm. shot through a car. They're not cars generally. There are exceptions. Mm. Are not bulletproof. Yeah, yeah. Okay, James. This is from Entertainment Weekly. Diehard screenwriter explains that pesky plot hole, yippee kaye mother plot holes, it says. That is awful. It's really bad, isn't Throw it? Throw your phone at the wall. Okay. Okay. But here's the thing. Uh, the plot hole here seems to be, in spite of Gruber's admirable accent, McLean immediately suspects something is off and manages to escape. Yep. But Stephen E. D'Souza, who's, who wrote the screenplay, has an explanation for the sleuthing, which is they all have the same watches. They all have Tag Heuer watches, which I guess are German. Oh, you got a German watch. Okay, that's fine. But I'm it doesn't explain that. the thing that I said. Yeah, the thing, the other thing the that thing you mentioned. That I, yeah. I just think, I like, I don't think it matters about the watches. I think it's also like he would the just ba- be suspicious. Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's also lucky he was wearing that suit and not tactical gear. That's very What are true. you doing here? Yeah. I'm spelunking. <laughs> that's exactly, this yeah. This is the Batman Begins excuse. Yeah, I'm... Um, 
I do extreme cave diving and I'm I got lost. Park. <laughs> I got lost. <laughs> <laughs> I just got, kept going up and up and up. It turns yeah, yeah. out I was in a building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't even realize. I, did, uh, I thought I was going to Mount Fuji, but I ended up in Nakatomi Plaza. In Los Angeles. Correct, yes. Let me check about this Nakatomi Plaza thing. Okay, great. So anyway, Kevin Smith tells a story. Go on. Um, uh, about how he worked with Die Hard, on the, uh, Die Hard. He worked with Bruce Willis on the movie Cop Out. Yes. And it was an absolutely horrendous experience. He said mm. that partially it was that Bruce Willis was like, are we improving? And then he's like, no, no, stick to the script. And then Tracy Morgan started improving. So Bruce Willis was like, well, this is a whatever movie, is it? So he just started doing whatever. Oh, okay, right. And like he wasn't like... He wasn't responsive to the things that Kevin Smith was trying to do in the movie and he didn't turn up for the poster shoot and all of these different kinds of things and they, they didn't have a good time okay. with each other. Apparently it hurt uh, Kevin Smith as well because he was a, you know, it was a big big uh, Bruce Willis fan as his dad was as well. Yeah, yeah, and they apparently had a nice time when they met on uh, Die Hard 4. Exactly, mm. where he played the warlock or whatever. Mm. Die Hard sequel. I think also is Speed a Die Hard, was originally a Die Hard sequel? Oh, it maybe. It might have been. Because yeah. it's sort of, there's a lot of a lot of Die Hard movies were originally other scripts or like short stories. Yes. The, or even Die Hard 4 is based on a magazine article, I think. Oh, is it? Yeah. Like Plaza Sequel. Hang on. Nakatomi Plaza Sequel. I might be wrong about this Nakatomi Plaza thing. Yeah. So that's fun, isn't it? It is fun. Mm. I don't know. I can't find anything on this Nakatomi Plaza thing. Mm. Anyway, here he goes. He's got his feet cut and he's not having a good time anymore. Up until this point, he was having a good time. He seemed to be having a heck of a time. I wasn't having a good time. I don't care what anyone says. This is a bad movie. Mm. What do you think of that, Mason? Wow. Yeah. And you also say it's not a Christmas movie, don't you? Yeah, that's what I say. Mm. I'll say it to anybody. I'll say it to their face. Yeah. I'll bloody I'll kick the door into your parents' house and I'll yell it at them. I don't give a shit. <laughs> that's what I do. So this is a fun bit where he pulls the whatever, whatever. The glass out of his feet. No, the whatever, whatever. I did not <laughs> yeah, miss. Right. Not misspeak. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember, I was going to say, I remember seeing it, and there we go. We are seeing it. It's actually a lot of blood. Yeah. I mean, well, it's not real blood. Oh, you don't think? No, I think it's probably fake blood. Mm. They've made it using technology. Hollywood movie magic. I love movie magic. It's my James favorite movie. James, movie magic. So what did I say? What we say in the business? You said movie magic. I'm an idiot. Movie magic. Movie magic. That's right. Very good. Mm. Man. These guys are mates. Don't they hug at the end or something? Probably. Only in LA, am I right? Yeah, hell boy. In bloody LA. Only in LA could a man be friends with another man. Oh boy. You wouldn't, you wouldn't get away with that in New York City. Oh boy. You wouldn't get away with that, but a mate, uh, having a mate on the streets of New York City, I'll tell you that much. Oh boy. I'll tell you that much. Oh boy. Did you find anything else about that gun thing? No, but Tag Heuer is actually Swiss, but I, I didn't want Well, that. I guess they're European. Yeah, yeah, European. So he was like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, that's right. I'll kill anyone with a European watch. <laughs> I'll do it. Uh, Unless your watch has the American flag on it That's and the right. arms are an eagle, mm. an eagle's wings. Yes. That I'm not interested mm. in any of your business. That's right. Yeah. No, no, nobody's nobody's picked up on the plot hole. So guess what? Plot hole exclusive, folks. If people that's know, a plot hole. let us know the plot yeah, let hole. Let us know, yeah. I'd like to know that if that's actually true. I think Mason's just an idiot. But if you have an actual solution. Both things can be true. <laughs> <laughs> can be a plot hole and you can be an idiot. An idiot. That's true, yeah. That is correct. I'm going to check if Bruce Willis has a shoulder scar. Okay, sure. I'm pretty sure he doesn't, but let's find out. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis. Shoulder scar. Oh, Bruce Willis school. No. No. Don't you hate it when you click the wrong thing? I've never clicked the wrong thing. <laughs> never what? In my life. Oh, that's right. I'm really happy for you. Thank you. The shoulder right scar is from surgery due to complications from a broken arm when he was 17. So it's oh. a real scar. It's not. So it probably is school related. Yeah. So he probably could have cl- could have clicked through to school anyway. Oh my God. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. That's a pretty good... Uh, Tattoo, let's go. Tattoos. He does still, he does have tattoos, but I don't know whether it's a real tattoo. Is it a real tattoo? I don't bloody know. But he's got, he's had more tattoos since. This is the kind of tattoos that a Bruce Willis is is working with these days. He's got a few up. See, looks like he's got some armpit tattoos. Yeah, but it also looks like he hasn't ruined his body with steroids. Yeah, that's also what I mean. Like he's kept like in shape. Enough. Mm. Oh, that's fun. That's fun, good times. Oh, this is where the FBI is like, we're going to blow up the building or whatever. Yeah, we're yeah, kill yeah. the hostages. Ha, ha, ha. We love it. <laughs> we love it. Mm. It's Christmas Eve, man. Because yeah. it's a Christmas 
Eve kind of movie. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Darby. What's he been doing lately? He's never not worked, though, has he? Yeah, and he's so. from Things. That guy. I've seen people from Things. Things, right? Oh, Motorola. <laughs> One of those CEOs is sitting down with the Magnavox guy. Do they still do anything? Motorola. Yeah, probably. I they assume. probably do. They probably make phones for nobody. Yeah, like I think they yet. make a bunch of phones every year and then they just tip them in down a manhole <laughs> with this guy. That's right. For tax purposes. For tax purposes. Like, we, we, this is an ongoing business provided nobody attempts to purchase one of our phones. <laughs> <laughs> we still have to make them. We have to make them impossible to purchase. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. When's this explosion happening, Mason? I don't know. Because it's a real explosion. And the other thing is they made Bruce Willis do it for real. Explode? Yeah, they made him explode. Wow. Well, they talk about it. Uh, I saw an interview where he talks about it. And he's like, yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that again. But he jumped like 25 feet down onto a crash pad. Oh, this is fun. You know, in the music ramps, we can't hear it because they're doing subtitled. But you know, in the music ramps up, mm-hmm. isn't it like big Christmas music now? Oh, maybe, yeah. Yeah, I don't or know. Or has that been added sort of... When people talk about, if you're watching YouTube no, video they, about Christmas movies, do no, they they, add, do they, they work add? in they work in the classical oh. music into. That's good. I yeah, think. but no, I don't think it is a Christmas song though. If that's what okay, you were right, saying, right. is that what you were saying? Maybe. No, oh, what is the, what is the the bloody president from the Breakfast Club president? <laughs> I couldn't think of the word principal. <laughs> from the Breakfast What's Club. What's President Breakfast Club doing here? <laughs> Was that like? I bet that painting was like one that went missing or something. Oh, yeah, you know yeah I mean? maybe, yeah. Like oh, a famous no. in real life. We're about to see Jai Courtney. Little kid Jai Courtney. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. God, these bloody pencil-pushing FBI agents. Right? God. I mean, he makes a terrific Balrog, but by God, he makes me mad. <laughs> Look at these guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look yeah. at these guys. Ah, oh, and they're big phones. He's got a big phone. Mm. Is that a military phone or is that a, just a phone of the era? I think that's a phone of the I think that's a car phone of the era. That sucks. Right? Get a real phone. God. Get a motor. Remember if you wanted a portable you wanted a portable phone, you had to put it into your car. <laughs> yeah, that's My right. My God. It was as portable as your car was. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Which in a way is very portable. Well, that is true. You can take a car pretty much anywhere, mm. can't you? These yeah, bloody days. Right. These bloody days, you can take a car anywhere. And in, not inside though, but if you're inside, you've got a landline. That's true, actually. But then there's also Should that... Should we bring back the car phone? There's that walk between the, your car, though, and your house, and where you cannot be in communicado yeah. with anybody, and that's not a world I want to live in. No, I think maybe... I mean, the, the problem could have been solved, I guess, with you disconnect the phone from your house yep. and then you plug it into your car. Okay. Yeah. But there is still that delay there. It's a, there's a double adapter in it. Oh. So I mean, you add the, you add the car one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you're still talking, and then you remove... The home one. Yep. And okay. it's uninterrupted talk. That's fantastic. It is, isn't it? I once had. In in the 80s, I would have been one of those guys that just makes failed inventions <laughs> all the time. Just unworkable inventions. <laughs> I'd be like, and then you you just remove it from your home phone, and then it's but it's already been attached to your car phone, so it's perfect. It's uninterrupted. <laughs> and somebody's like, what about just a, a mobile phone? No, no that's cords. ridiculous. Cords. Two, two adapters. Two cords and adapters. <laughs> I am once... I, you know, when you shatter a glass on the floor Hell of your yeah. house and you're like, I'm definitely going to stand on a bit of glass later because I'll miss some of it. Yeah, yeah. I did that once. Uh huh. I did it a bunch just earlier. Why? In your kitchen. Just for this. Yeah. And? I had a good fun time. <laughs> cool. I'm wearing shoes. I'm good. <laughs> oh, good. So anyway, I, so I stepped on a, a sheet of glass, not uh-huh. a sheet of, like a, a bit that I missed. Yeah. A piece of glass, which was probably about three mil long. Yeah, yeah. Went into my foot. Ooh. Excruciating. Yes. Like you cannot walk on it, like mm. obviously at all. Yeah, and yeah. it's like I can't even imagine like having like a bit. I mean, this didn't yeah. really happen, but I had to go to the doctors to and get they it. They can't X-ray it because it's glass. Yeah, so they just have to pull it out. I'm like, it's definitely in there. So they, <sighs> they, uh, they got like a pair of pliers and like a needle and like, and I can hear that going. God, like, this is I can hear it going hear. like, clink, clink, oh, as they're no. like trying to pick it out of my foot. Wow. And. Claire, my wife, was like, oh, yeah, whatever. Like, I'm yeah, like, right. no, there was, it's, and I showed her, and she's like, it's not even that big. And I'm like, it's not about that. It was, <laughs> it's a piece of glass. And also, we're talking about my foot. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're talking about. You're pointing and saying that about the wrong thing, Claire. <laughs> That's rude. I'm moving to Germany. I'm never telling anybody that story. It's embarrassing, <laughs> I said. Oh, boy. But I'll do it for content. That's true. I'll do it for a diehard. Film commentary. Yeah. Anyway, don't step on glass. That's oh, the worst. Is what I say to you. 
That's right. And he's out of cigarettes. And then I heard later the doctor lined up you and a bunch of other people who had different pieces of yeah, different sized pieces of glass in their foot, and she played a little tune. <laughs> Ting, ting, a ting, 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 a ting, ting, ting. She was like, oh, look, I was waiting for a C, a C major. Yeah. And you're finally here. Yeah. Uh, oh, no. Anyway, gonna, I just got to record my mixtape and then you can go. Uh, this spineless weakling. You He's threatening snivel. deportation. Yeah, you would. Piece of shit. God. You dog fuck. If I ever saw this guy in real life, I'd kill him for real, nice. Mason. Good, 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 good. <laughs> yeah. No, it's a credit. It's an absolute credit to his acting abilities. Yeah, yeah. Or he's really awful. Yeah. Maybe he's really awful. Do you think he's really awful? No, I reckon he's probably cool. Yeah, he's probably cool. You're right. Why do you think he took the singlet off at this point? Probably to wrap it around his feet. Oh, yeah. But he hasn't, though. No, he did. did I saw he? him. He's, oh, he's okay, got right. something around his foot. Okay, that's good. What's that again? Oh, he left something out there, didn't he? That's right. Mm. I remember the movie Die Hard. I remember watching it prior to this and also yeah, now. Yeah. I, remember ha- I remember this happening as it's happening. Wow. Yeah. I'm like Memento. And you remember being born. You remember I those do. two things. I'm like the movie Memento, except I've got normal abilities of a human nice. being in terms of memory. Normento. Normento. Yeah. That's right. That was the Norm MacDonald uh, mm. parody movie, Normento. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, know if you yeah, ever yeah. saw it. It was very good and definitely real. Nice. Oh, is that Australian gun, Mason? Yeah, that's right. That is an Australian gun. Yeah, hell I've got to yeah. say... It's not cool though, is it? It was cool at the time. Nah, it's not it was cool. Hella cool it sucks. at the time. Looks like a stupid. Looks like a paintball gun. Yeah, I think it's dumb. Let me let me let me bounce this off you, James. Okay. Guy Pierce loses his memory. Yep. He's got to solve the murder of his wife. Yep. But at the same time, the only thing he can remember is 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 the fresh taste that, that freshens your breath. It's called mementos. <laughs> What do you think about that? <laughs> That's pretty good. Right? How does that help him in his investigations? Well, I mean, people wouldn't talk to him unless... He like if he's, he's, Yeah, he's got, like, grimy breath. Okay, so every time he um, he comes to, every 15 minutes, yeah, he has to find a, a Mentos. Yeah. Freshen up his breath. That's right. And then the investigation continues. Correct, yes. Wow. This I is, mean, you've I added mean, another this layer. This is a modern-day remake, obviously, so we gotta, yeah. you've got to pay for it somehow. Do you think uh, Christopher Nolan would... I mean, he already has endorsed it, my understanding. But yeah, do you yeah. think he's willing to put up some of his own money for Mementos? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Terrific stuff. I remember fresh that. goes better, Mementos, Mentos freshness. freshness. Fresh, fresh goes, goes better, better Mementos, Mentos fresh and full of life. Dun, 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 oh, am I chasing him or is he chasing me? Remember <laughs> that scene? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Oh, no. Here we go. Mm. Mementos. I thought she was in this. The fresh <laughs> maker. Precious sure for precious memories. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah, that's really good. I um, I remember her being in this more. Yeah, same. She yeah. kind of disappears in the middle, mm. you know, mm. just among the '80s swill. That's right. A crowd of deviant '80s people. Mm. Oh, this guy's this is getting a bit Blade Runner. It is a bit, isn't it? Yeah, you've never seen Blade Runner, have you? No, that's true. You so didn't even I'm know it was. A, you didn't even know it was a movie. Did yeah, you? I just said two words at random just then, <laughs> and it's it's a sheer coincidence. I was. Too the only movie I've seen is my proof of concept concept for Mementos yeah. movie. But you haven't seen the original Memento? No. <laughs> There's a movie called Memento. I mean, I, I, I haven't seen it either, so I don't yeah. know. Huh. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, this is getting real. Mm. So this helicopter shot, apparently six months to practice. Okay. And they only got like two hours to actually do it. Yeah, right. I think he's got his big game hat on that guy, doesn't he? Yeah, hell yeah, he does. Here we bloody he go. Looks like, he looks like a gamer getting ready for, for big time gaming. He does. Epic gaming. He looks like someone who's friends with Dr. Disrespect, maybe. Or That's this who shot I was here. trying to think of the other day. Were you? Why? Yeah, I can't remember. <laughs> it was on the show, I think. We were talking about that, and I'm like, but Do- Dr. Disrespect, that's a hell of a name. Is it? I don't think he's his real name. Oh. I think he's, I think he's not even a doctor. I think his name is Mr. Disrespect. <laughs> right. But maybe um, that's one of those things where you know you you become a doctor and then you, it, it loops away around and you miss her again. Oh, okay, like you yeah, get yeah. All the qualifications. So those paper things, were they bonds? Were they? They were bonds. How yeah. does that work in the eighties? Like, what is it? Like, because now it's digital, I assume. I like, think what you, do you do with it? That's a good question. I guess you go to a bank in Switzerland. Yeah, and they have to give you because they're backed by the government. I think. Okay. So they're they're they're. Can't they just be like, these ones don't count? I don't think so, Because no. you stole them? No, I don't think so. Okay. Plus, would they have a record of the specific ones that got stolen? Look, I don't know. 
I don't but know. I think either. it's it is like it's traceable though, presumably. It's not like crypto. Oh, I don't know about in the eighties. Some crypto. I don't know about in the eighties, maybe. Yeah. Where's this ambulance? Where's this heckin' flippin' ambulance? Where's the heckin' flippin' ambulance? As I used to say in the eighties also. Mm. That's right. Very rude. Oh, she's like throwing shade. Uh oh. So she's only in a phone call in Die Hard 3, isn't she? Like he tries to call her at a oh. payphone at the end, and she's like, John, John. And he's already like, he figured out who Hans Gruber is, so he's run away. Oh, I see. Mm. I would say Die Hard 3 is nearly the best Die Hard as well. It's really good. It did get a bad rap. The sequels, 2 and 3, got a bad rap. They all got a bad rap compared to the first one, did I think. 3 pretty good. Yeah, I but I, I still really remember solid. people going like, oh, this isn't as good as the original. No, and like they changed the setting and the time period, and like no, t- t- like the time of year. Like it's not Christmas. Yeah, yeah, right, right. right. Oh man, that Uh-oh. guy looks. That looks crazy. What happened to Whoa. that dude? Oh man, I wouldn't let that happen to me. I'd be like, I'd be so embarrassed. I'd be like, damn, that's a real Zach McCracken and the Alien Mind Benders. That's what you'd say to him, would yeah, you? Yeah, that's right. Also, that dude is not dead. He comes back at the end. Oh yeah, it's like a final. Oh yeah, lunge. I always remember that as Hans Gruber coming back. Oh no, he fell off yeah, the thing. He fell off the thing and he died. Yeah. This guy's a lunatic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. these guys aren't mates, I think. No. Well, they are. They're well, just they're two terrible people. I think they're two terrible people they're and they sort together. of get along. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the only two people they could put together at the FBI or wherever they're from. Oh, that's good fun the stuff. two people left, yeah. Hmm. They have, do they have rocket launchers on, the, on, that, on that helicopter? I can't remember, to be honest. Oh, Uh-oh. shit. Welcome to the party, pal. Another German bites the dust. That's right. Imagine being killed by Bruce Willis and Harrison Ford. My goodness. If it is the same guy. Yeah, right. Which it might very well not yeah. be. <laughs> oh, my God. God, that's pretty... This is This looks practical. This is pretty good stuff. Yeah. What's the budget on... <laughs> Hundred dollars, hundred dollars. Yeah, hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess Fox owned the building. That's true. Yeah. So you know. Yeah. I did read a thing where like they charged. Oh, sorry, five million and a hundred dollars. Oh, okay. Yeah, because Bruce Willis got paid. Everybody else got had to split a hundred dollars. <laughs> and what they did, Mr. Beast style. Yeah. They just, they just made it. They they turned the hundred dollars into small change. Yep. They threw it in a pile and they're like, grab it what you want. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. wow. Yeah. That's incredible. Right. I don't think you should be allowed to do that. I don't know. That's just me. Anyway, yes. when's this goddamn explosion happening? Soon, real soon. So Almost immediately. Say my explosion thing. My oh, you've got a thing. You've got a fact. Explosion factoid. Oh, wow. Wait, 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 wow. Wow. There we go. It's happening. Okay. Should I come up with some sort of, like, oh, you want computer pun? game joke? Yeah. I mean, you yeah. could say this is like the game Die Hard 1 on Nintendo. I could, couldn't I? There was also a Die Hard first-person shooter in, like, the early 2000s. Did you ever see that? It was like yes, this. Yes, yeah. Apparently it's not great. But um, after this, I'm going to look up a review of it and see okay, what it's great. like. And I'm going to play it for the rest of my life. You know you can pick one game to play for the rest of your life? Yep. I picked Die Hard on the PlayStation 2 or whatever it was. Wow. Yeah. There are other games, you know? Nah, not to me. Wow. Just this game I just first heard of today. That's the game for me, <laughs> I reckon. That's okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the yeah, game yeah, yeah, yeah. for me. Mm. Here we go. Okay, so basically, this shot here, yes. right, where he does the jump, it's a 25-meter drop. Okay. Bruce Willis did it for himself. The explosion happened behind him. Yeah, so it's nice. all real, right? You can tell. There's no compositing here. Um, what they actually did for this, like you'd think it'd be something that they'd shoot uh, last. Yeah, right. Because right. you get everything else, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. But actually, just in case he dies. Just in case he dies. But actually, they shot it first. Whoa. Because they went, well, if he dies, we'll just recast him. Incredible. <laughs> That's, is, that, is that for reals? That is true, yes. Wow, wow, yeah. wow, wow. wow. So that's great. Right. Just shows your lack of like, <laughs> <laughs> just a complete lack of like, give, they're giving a fuck. Yeah, wow. God, this guy has too much glass stuff going yeah, on. I know, right? See, I like how it kind of keeps going. He's like, shit, it's, I'm still involved in this situation. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. It's great. Yeah. It's really good. Not for him though. No. Nah. Probably a bad time for him. Yeah. Imagine well, if he died here. his chest here. Yeah. Oh, that's no yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's no bloody good, is it? That's good. That's a, that is a face he hasn't employed in a long time. Yeah, I think that's the only time he used that face, actually. Yeah, because, you know, he thought he was going to die for real. <laughs> yep. 
because they made him jump off that yeah, thing true. or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder what the age is where you're like, as an action star, I'm not doing this. You know what I mean? Yeah. I guess it depends if it's person to person because Tom Cruise is just... That's true. That's some great miniature work there, isn't it? Look at that. That's incredible. I wonder if it's maybe like a... See, I would say prior to watching this and, and you giving me the fun facts, yeah. I would have said it would be when you have a close call and you'd be like, sure, that's yeah, it yeah. for me. But uh, he did this for years now and he said he clearly had a, a number of close calls here. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, I'm trying to think of, like, a big Bruce Willis stunt, though, that he's done. I'm not saying he hasn't done them, but I can't think yeah. of, like, a significant thing. Did he jump off that ship in <laughs> Die Hard 3? Did he really uh, eject himself from that seat in Die Hard 2? Did he really transform himself into a baby in Look Who's Talking <laughs> using evil magic? Evil magic? Yeah, Do you reckon yeah, he used yeah. evil magic? I think, yeah. So, so is that the same truck they came in? That's a different truck, right? Yes. I don't know. I couldn't say. Huh. Maybe. I mean, I guess it fits. Is there fits. two trucks? It must be. I think I think we see a truck there and there's another truck yeah. slightly to the left. I mean, you know, I read that fact about an ambulance not fitting. Yeah, yeah. It that ambulance did. definitely fit. Yeah. I mean, maybe it's not an ambulance. Maybe it's like a car that they custom... Maybe it's a wambulance. A wambulance. For big crybabies. Yeah, that's what you bloody take to work every day. <laughs> that's right. Don't you, mate? Yeah. It's very comfortable. Yeah. Good got... air con. Yeah. Good surround sound. Ooh, that's cool. Very reliable. I can't wait for self-driving cars. I can like wait. Like properly. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you can just like sit in the car and I can watch oh, Die yeah. Hard. Oh, yeah. That'd be pretty good, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. Do you think, though, there is a chance that this is going to come back in any meaningful way? The franchise? Die Hard franchise. Yeah. Uh, Are we done? Because it is kind of like... <coughs> good question. It's been a... That doesn't... That looks like an ambulance from like the 40s. Yeah. I mean... Oh, shit. No We've, wonder they both come back for that commercial. Yeah. They have an interaction. I mean, the thing, of, I mean, the thing about uh, a, 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 you know, a remake or a reboot of a franchise and it turns out to be good is there's usually 20 years of distance or 30 years of distance. Yeah. And we've kind of had that now. So, yes, you're right. So, I don't know. Do we need another 20 years? <laughs> it's yes. But also, like, if let's say they do a, let's say they do it. Clint Eastwood also for this. Yeah, it was. It was um, oh yeah, right. Considered. Sorry, let's God. say they do it Force Awakens style. They do it Ghostbusters Afterlife style. So it's okay. both a reboot and a remake. And they only reference the first one or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then they they'd have to do it in a building again. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to see that. But I mean, what what more can you do with the concept of terrorists in a building? Well, I think like I feel all the big stunts, like we just seen the you know the huge explosions or whatever. Yeah. That's the whole thing. I think what you would do mm. is like you said for previous Die Hard movies and even movies that aren't Die Hard movies that were initially supposed to be like Speed, you yeah. get a terrific action movie, uh -huh. like a script, yeah, and you turn it into Die Hard. Yeah, right. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's great. I just love how he looks like shit. I think that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. You know and what Rickman's I mean? still looking great. Yeah. yeah. I think. Imagine if he taped the gun to his back in a place that he couldn't get it. I mean, how would he even do that? Because True, you'd have yeah. to, to reach You'd it. have to ask one of the terrorists in the moment <laughs> of death, can you take this to my back? Yeah. That's it. I forgot he did that. Yeah. Yeah, that's good stuff. It's cool. It is cool. Or if he had to move into a spot where the other guy could just like straight up see that he had a gun. <laughs> yeah, that's back. right. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, mm. Gary, you didn't even know Gary Cooper was Whoa. or whatever. Wow. Here we bloody go. Uh oh. I also like the ending of Die Hard 4 where he shoots Timothy Olyphant through himself. Oh, yeah. I think that's, that's right. great. I think that's really that's cool. That's pretty Die Hard. That's yeah, that's full, very That's di full on Die Hard. I know people also like that's the moment he jumped the shark because he throws the plane into the helicopter or yeah, whatever. Yeah, but yeah. I think that's cool. Yeah. I'm cool with it. It is a Christmas movie, James. I always thought it was mm. or wasn't, whatever I said. No, it yeah, is a Christmas yeah. movie. Oh, nice. shit. Nice. Oh, shit. He killed two of those guys. Oh, we did the thing with he. It's fun. Uh oh. God, there's some great glass work in this movie. That's very true. Probably mm. got the best glass guy in the city. So they told Alan Rickman. Uh -huh. He did like a 35 foot drop or something like that. Uh huh. On they a said, wire? No, I think they just dropped him. Oh. They said, We're going to, we'll drop you on three. And they said, One, two, 
and then they dropped him. Nice. And that's why he's, he's got the look the of a surprise. Yeah, right. So they did it a couple of times where they end up using the first one because if you <laughs> if you look at him, yeah, he looks very surprised. <laughs> yeah, oh, he's surprised. That's a genuine surprise. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Now that's done. You ever had, like, of bungee jumps? I've been dropped 35 foot yeah. off a building, yeah. Well, I bungee jumped. was when jumps. I was fighting John McClain. I did a hundred and... I did a 130 foot, 130 meter bungee jump. What do you think Zealand. you're? You think you're four times better than Alan Rickman? Yes. Yeah, no, that's okay. I mean, I lived too. So this guy hit the ground. Yeah, that's true. But um, yeah, I did, and I did like a giant canyon swing in New Zealand. This was on when I was doing my smoking tour. Oh yeah, my yearly smoking tour. Weird oh, kissing. That's, Weird that's kiss like that. Weird kissing. Yeah. Don't kiss like that. Kiss normal. That's the kissing you kiss in a movie, and then it, it's revealed that you're in a dream, <laughs> <laughs> and you're actually kissing a big watermelon or something. <laughs> <laughs> Why a watermelon? Don't know. First thing I thought of. <laughs> roughly head shape. You're gonna be like a pet or something, no? like a dog's. Your dog's oh, licking yeah, you. Oh yeah, no, that's cool as well. Okay, yeah, that's cool stuff also. But um, that feeling of that free fall. Yeah. It's fuck. It's like it's horrifying. Like I know people get like a real rush out of it. Yeah. But you know, like it's it's like fall. It's like falling to your death. Yeah. It's exactly because that's what it is, mm. really. Terrifying. That's how Tom Petty came up with the name free falling. That's yeah. the, the Tom Petty came up because I'm free the falling. Name, name of the song. Free Stop falling dragging tonight. my heart around. <laughs> there he is. Which is a different yeah. song. He's back. It's a different song, James. That's incredible that you've, what you've done just now. <laughs> now, doesn't the cop redeem himself by shooting a second person? Yeah, another kid. No, it's the German dude or yeah, whatever. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. How does he? I'm mean, sure he would be emotionally scarred for life, but you know. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I can one cancels out the other, I reckon. Yeah, no, probably. He's probably fine now. He probably goes, yippity doo da. Yep. <laughs> that's my catchphrase. <laughs> he, he leaps and he clicks yip, his heels together on the way back to his car. That's right. Yeah. Uh, and you know what's also good? It. I mean, there's that guy who pops up again. It's very horror movie, the villain's fine yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's good that, like, it ends here. Because yeah. if you've seen, like, Con Air, yep. there's, like, a chase sequence at the end. Speed oh, yeah, ends yeah, in, yeah. like... A train crash and whatever. And to yeah. be fair, those are probably examples of like that being done well. Uh-huh. But I think this ends at the exact right point. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Especially because we got to go to bed. You know what I mean? That's true. We got to you, you got to sleep next to that big watermelon. <laughs> you That's kiss. right. Yes. <laughs> In a coffin. Yeah. <laughs> We're tying all the things together. We're tying them together. There's a coffin. There's a watermelon. You can make a fruit ninja joke for a video game because yes. that's the thing of the whatever. Nice. Yeah. Oh, isn't he like? Oh, you bloody, you're in, you know, you're in trouble for property damage, and this pencil pushing nerd. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're interfering with police business. Oh, he's back. He's coming. He's got his Australian gun. Why did they leave it on him? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. It's not even like a different gun. He's got the same gun. They didn't take it off him. Yeah. That's fucking hilarious. Oh Hell shit. Yeah. Also. There's like 80 cops here and it's this guy? Yeah. Come on. Did I do that? He should have said. He should have said that, right? He should have said, was it me that did that? Yeah. That's a little hint towards my upcoming TV series, Family Matters. Right. Which may be started shortly after this. And they've given me this particular catchphrase and I hope no one on the cast yes. takes the catchphrase and makes it their own. That's right, I'd exactly. i really mad I'm pretty it. sure my delivery will trump tr- all trump. Will trump all other deliveries. Yeah. I should have ended with him shooting the limousine. <laughs> Just putting a couple of rounds into it and it explodes. Oh, good stuff. Yeah. Oh, Bruce Willis. Oh, Bruce Willis. Oh, Bruce Willis. Oh, Bruce Willis. Oh, here we go. This guy's going to get fucking socked, mate. Uh-oh. Watch. Okay. Oh, he got it. <laughs> you got socked, you absolute coward. Yeah. That's so embarrassing. Imagine getting punched by a woman on 80s television. Right. I mean, the, you know, it's like not great like image quality, but people would have got the general idea. That's of true. Yeah, on. yeah. And I mean, you know, probably it wouldn't go viral or anything. It would probably only ever be shown once. Yeah. But maybe somebody you know sees it. Absolutely. You know, and it's like, was that, was that, was that Snivel and Steve? <laughs> <laughs> That's Snivel and Steve. Here we go. Christmas song at the end, and we're out. We did it, folks. Is the sun coming up? Is it morning? Or is it still night? Oh, I think it's morning. Now it seems like a morning. That's fun. What a good movie. I agree. I don't care what anybody says, Mason. 
Yeah. Die Hard is a pretty good movie, I reckon. Yeah. It's a pretty good movie. Yeah. How terrorists get their own billing. So in Germany, mm -hmm. they made them Irish terrorists. Oh my goodness. So they replaced all the um all the guns with Guinness and yeah. uh, and potatoes. And Hans Gruber was Hans Potato. <laughs> there he is. And he had a little leprechaun hat on. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and he was looking for a pot of gold. That's right. <laughs> and instead of yippee ki they said fiddle dee dee. <laughs> You've got to answer my riddles three. Hans Gruber, <laughs> potato. I consider it the uh, superior cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, everybody's different. Because everyone's half cut. That's right. Drunk. And all the Guinness. Yeah, the Guinness. That they're consuming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, anyways, uh, thank you very mm. much for, for listening to this. This is a really fun one. Uh, um, yeah, and if look, if you've gotten this far, I think you should hashtag Hans Potato. <laughs> <laughs> Just to let Just us to know, know on, on the So Twitters, we know that you've, uh, you've gotten involved here. yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, of course, you? there's no post-credits because this was an, a, a, this a, is a normal time, movie. A more innocent time, I think. I think a better time. Mm. I'm sick of waiting around in cinemas. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Because they've got the audacity to put them in movies that I don't even want to watch in the first place. Right? <laughs> So I'll be in the cinema and I'll be like, Google, like, Hitman sequel post credits scene <laughs> or whatever. <sighs> and then the police are called to your location. <laughs> arrest you. Anyways, we hope you're having a safe and happy holiday and yes. festive and Christmas season. That's right. Uh, and you're having a good old time with family, friends, or just by yourself, you know what I mean? Maybe you're lying low. Oh, what yeah. are you up to? I hope you're having a good time. Sometimes it's good to take Christmas off. He's not bloody wrong. Mm -hmm. He's not bloody wrong, everybody. But, uh, yeah, if you've got any suggestions for what you want us to do next month, please let us know. Um, I'm happy with... Oh, you know what we'll do? We'll wait for the movie Morbius to come out, then we'll do the Morbius commentary. Okay, in a cinema. In a cinema. We'll live in the cinema. Because there will be nobody else in the cinema. That's true. It'll be us enjoying the movie Mr. Michael, Dr. Morbius. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody. Uh, grab that jam, you guys. We'll see you on the next commentary or on our podcast or on a different thing. That's right. There's so many podcasts at BigSandwich.co, isn't there, Mason? And <laughs> That's right. Videos. See ya. Bye. Bye. Boy, oy, 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 Bye hard. Bye hard. That's great. Thank you. We should do Die Hard 2 straight away right now, don't okay, you Okay, cool. Just great, roll them yeah. on over. Good, 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 good. Yeah, good. yeah. It's going to sound like the audio stops or the video stops, but it's actually, just wait a second, the, the second Die Hard movie is about to start up. Great. So just wait around, everybody. Mm.